Please subscribe to my channel, Audio Novels, see playlist for other chapters and novels, thank you. Chapter 1301, Helin, Heling. Helin. Wanted me. To find. You, finally, are Dotarg. Just those few short words had completely exhausted the little clarity that Yun Che had fought so hard to regain, following that, he once again fell into that nightmarish abyss, and besides his hoarse cries of pain and his furious struggling, he did not say another complete word. Lina, Lina, He Ling's heart and soul were thrown into complete chaos and her mind was filled with images of He Lin, to her. It seemed as if Helin was the one who was painfully struggling and thrashing about in front of her, it caused pain to instantly pierce through her heart, her body whirled around furiously as she cried out in a teary voice, Master, I beg you, please save him, he's Lina, he is my younger brother Lina. Please save him, please. Dot. Xiaqinayu stared dumbfoundedly at the weeping wood spirit girl. She was begging for Yan Che's life with nearly the exact same vigor that she did previously. Linger, Shinzai's voice was overlaid by a small sigh of sadness, he isn't your little brother, his body merely contains your brother's wood spirit orb. Linger knows, the wood spirit girl said with tears dripping down her face, but. He is Linner's benefactor, he is the person that Linner has entrusted everything to, and he represents the continuation of Linner's life. With a thud, she fell heavily to her knees, Master, I beg that you save him, I beg that Master saves him. If a wood spirit had lost their wood spirit orb, it had undoubtedly meant that they had died, thus, robbing a wood spirit of their wood spirit orb was the most heinous of crimes, and it would also make that person the wood spirit race's mortal enemy. However, the royal wood spirit orb was different. The royal wood spirit orb within Yan Che's body still retained all of its aura, it was a perfect and complete royal wood spirit orb, moreover, for a perfect royal wood spirit orb to appear within a human's body, the only possibility was that this royal wood spirit had entrusted it to that person wholeheartedly. As the purest living beings in the world, woods spirits had an innate ability to sense good and evil, as a royal wood spirit to be willing to sacrifice his own life and pass his own wood spirit orb to a human, it would mean that he either owed him a huge debt of gratitude that could never be repaid, or it meant that this human was someone whom he was willing to leave everything to. As the descendant of the royal wood spirit family, Healing understood this point better than anyone else in the universe. Dot. The only thing that answered Healing was a long silence. She could sense the pain and grief inside Healing's heart her greatest desire, and what one could even describe as the greatest motivation for her to continue living on, was to find her younger brother Helin, it was just as Helin himself had most desired to find her as well, because that was her closest family and also the last hope of the wood spirit royal family, but today, Helin's wood spirit orb had appeared in the body of a human, which meant that Helin was dead, and its greater implication was that, the royal wood spirit line was extinct from now on. The impact this had on her was undoubtedly equivalent to the heavens and the earth collapsing. Thus, the Yunche who carried He Lin's wood spirit orb within his body was also the one thing which kept her from complete despair. He was like that final straw. Or perhaps he could be considered the final consolation. It was just that, Master. He Lin cowed out heavily as her teary voice grew hoarse. Lina is dead, Linga. No longer has any family left, Linga's parents died to protect her. And Linga. Also lost Lina, not only was I unable to protect him for that short period of time, I didn't even get to see him one last time before he. He is the person that Lina has entrusted everything to, he is the last hope of any part of Lina still remaining in this world, so no matter what, I want to protect him. I beg master, I beg master to save him, Linga won't go anywhere else after this. For my entire life. And even in all of my next ones, I will accompany master wherever she goes, so please, master. Please save him. Grief, tears, self-recrimination, guilt, despair. This pure and beautiful wood spirit, 
who was so frail and delicate, who seemed so innocent and unstained, her spirit and her will had now completely collapsed after she had sensed the wood spirit orb in Yan Che's body. She had personally witnessed her parents and countless other kinsmen kill themselves by destroying their own wood spirit orbs so that they could create the opportunity for them to flee. She had been separated from Helen as they were escaping. During those years, she had not cared whether she was noticed or targeted by others as she had searched for him like a mad woman. In a world that was incomparably terrifying and cruel for a wood spirit, finding healing was the greatest reason for her to keep on living, and nearly every day, she would live with the overwhelming guilt of having lost Helen. Three years ago, she had gone to a star realm that was rumored to have wood spirit sightings to find Helen, and she had been surrounded and trapped by people there, but fortunately for her, Shenzai saved her life and brought her to this place. She served Shenzai at her side, and her only request was to beg Shenzai to help her find Helen. But today, she found out that she would no longer be able to see Helen ever again, and the only thing left in this world was his wood spirit orb. All of the hopes, desires, and guilt that she had borne over the years, in her misery that had her teetering over the edge of despair, all of these emotions had become firmly attached to Yun Shi. A.I. From the wispy fog of the forbidden land of Samsara came a long empathic sigh of resignation. It looks like this is also the will of the heavens, all those years ago, when I brought you back, I had already promised that I'd help you find your royal brother, since I have promised you this, I will naturally not go back on my word, Linga, please get up, I will save him. He Ling's weeping subsided slightly before she made a deep bow, thank, thank you master. Those three words were said while her soul was shuddering, even though she had only accompanied Shenzai for three short years, she was deeply aware of what those words meant to her, this kind of heavenly favor was a debt of gratitude that would be hard for her to repay even if she had all eternity to do so. She viewed Yun She through teary eyes. His painful cries and tortured appearance caused her to feel so much pain that it was hard to even breathe. She grabbed his spasming hands, and consoled him in a teary voice, Did you hear that, Master said that she was willing to save you, you'll be fine in no time at all. You'll get better very soon, Dot. It was as if a huge boulder had been lifted off her shoulders, but just as Xia Kinayu's heart was about to rejoice, she suddenly felt a deep exhaustion assault her, she glanced at Healing and made a small bow to the empty space in front of her. The great favor that senior Shenzai has shown today, Xiaqinayu will never ever forget it. You don't need to thank me, the celestial voice spoke slowly as if it was in a dream, I rescued him for Linga's sake, since he also has a royal wood spirit orb, it will not stain this place either. Xiaqinayu faintly shook her head, senior is willing to save him and that is the favor of heaven in and of itself. Once the Brahma soul death wishing mark afflicting him has been lifted, whatever senior desires me to do, Xiaqinayu. Will. Definitely. Obey. A divine sense lightly swept over Xiaqinayu's body and it seemed that the celestial figure within the mist was only now truly taking a measure of her. What an obstinate and stubborn girl, have you always been this way? Xiaqinayu. Even though I can save him. The Brahma's soul death wishing mark on his body is extremely tyrannical, if one desires to completely expel it, it will take at least fifty years, during those fifty years, he needs to remain in this place and he cannot take a single step out of it, furthermore, I will need to seal his memories, so for the fifty years that he is here, he will not remember anything of his past, and once he leaves fifty years later. He will also not remember anything that has happened in this place. That is fine, I thank Senior for fulfilling my wish. Xia Kinayu did not find the words that rang in her ears the least bit surprising. This junior will entrust this matter to someone to pick him up from this place once fifty years have gone by. Oh? The celestial voice expressed a bit of surprise, why won't you be the one to receive him? Dot. Xia Kinayu did not respond. Instead she deftly changed the subject by asking, Can I ask Senior Shinsai? During these fifty years, before the Brahma soul death wishing mark on his body is completely expunged, 
Is there any way to lessen his pain? Don't worry, the voice very quickly became incomparably gentle as she replied her, even though I am unable to get rid of the Brahma soul death wishing mark in a short amount of time, I can make it so that his curse gradually does not flare up, and even if it does flare up, it will not be to the point where it is unbearable. As the celestial voice rang in her ears, a white light that was so pure that it was inconceivable floated down from the mists and shrouded Yan Che's body. As the white light neared her body, Xia Kinayu's beautiful eyes immediately focused, she felt as if her body, blood, profound veins, and soul, had all been gently cleaned by exceedingly pure spring water. The pain from the wounds that Yan Che had gouged on her body lessened and the pain and panic in her heart were also softly being eased, even her five senses had become exceptionally clear. So this was their power that foster father spoke of. The white light softly engulfed Yan Che's body and his contortions and spasms immediately grew much less tortured, the distortion of his muscles and blood vessels, and his hoarse screaming, lessened as time went by. It was as if his entire body had been fished out of a blood bond from hell, and bathed in a warm spring, as every cell and every pore of his body was being soothed. A few motes of clarity appeared in those disordered eyes at this time and he slowly raised a trembling hand, he had, astonishingly enough, recovered some control over his body. He also managed to gasp out two words rather clearly, King Dot alleviating his pain was in the end a help, but it was not a cure, Yan Che still felt unbearable pain run through his entire body, but it had been lowered to the point where his will was able to forcible withstand it. Now that the greatest worry in her heart had dissipated, Xia Kinayu once again made a deep bow towards the empty space in front of her, after that, she spoke to Yan Che softly, it's simply too great, Senior Shen Zai has already promised to save you, so you don't need to suffer from so much pain anymore, it's already no longer a problem. Even though fifty years are very long, remaining in this place at Senior Shen's eyes side means that no one will be able to hurt you again, if you are able to gain Senior Shen's eyes admiration or fondness, it will also be an extremely big opportunity for you. Then during these fifty years, you can stay here without any reservations and forget about everything in the outside world. With the Brahma soul death wishing Mark afflicting him, Yan Che would no longer be able to enter the eternal heaven pearl, this meant that he had lost the extremely large opportunity to cultivate for three thousand years in the eternal heaven divine realm, but, given that he had been targeted by Qian Yinger, there was already no safe space for Yan Che to rest his head in this world. Staying in this place would undoubtedly guarantee fifty years of absolute safety for Yan Che, because even Qian Yinger would not dare to force her way into this forbidden ground. Since I have promised that he could stay, then there is nothing for you to worry about. Shinzai's voice rang out slowly yet again. You possess the heart of glazed glass, and you are a woman who has received the protection of heaven. Since I am allowing him to stay. Why don't you stay as well and accompany him during these fifty years? To Shinsai, this was also another exception that she was making. Because Xia Kinayu possessed the heart of glazed glass that was rare for her to see even over the hundreds of thousands of years that she had lived. After lowering Yan She gently to the ground, Xia Kinayu slowly stood up and said, I thank Senior Shinsai for your good intentions. Since he is staying with Senior in this place, Kinayu really does not need to worry about him at all anymore. Kinayu has already disturbed Senior for quite a while, so it is time for me to leave and go to the place that I must return to. Oh? Shenzai expressed quite some astonishment at this reply. She took one last long and deep look at Yan Che before closing her eyes and turning around and she steeled herself with determined resoluteness as she prepared to leave, but at this moment, the edge of her skirt was firmly grabbed by a trembling hand, Yan Che's entire body shuddered and his face started to contort once again, but the hand that was grabbing the hem of Xia Kinayu's skirt was holding on very tightly, Kinayu! Where? Ah! You going? As his pain had lessened by a great degree, he had also regained a bit of clarity and conscious thought, 
where else would Xiaqin Ayu go? But the moon god realm, but after what had happened at the wedding celebration in the moon god realm, she had already become a sinner in the eyes of the entire moon god realm, even if the moon god emperor was truly as she had said, and treated her like his very own daughter, and would forgive her even if she had made a worse mistake. Besides him, there would still be the wrath of the entire moon god realm waiting for her. Furthermore, no one would be able to bring themselves to believe that the wrath of the moon god emperor had actually completely subsided, so the moon god realm would likely imprison her, exile her, cripple her profound strength. Or maybe even execute her. Dot. Xia Kinayu's footsteps halted but she did not turn back, don't worry, I'll be fine, this is something that I need to face. Chapter 1302, Cut Off All Ties N, no. Yanche gritted his teeth, I've said it before, I have to stay with you. Xia Kinayu's chest violently rose and fell, it was only after quite a while that she coldly replied, one of them is my foster father who I owe a great debt of gratitude to and the other is my birth mother who is near the end of her life, no matter how they treat me, it is just, since I have turned my back on them, even if they need my life as atonement, I would be perfectly willing to do so. But how is this any of your business? We are husband and wife. But in these twelve years, we were only married in name, never were we a couple in the truest sense and rarely have we met because we were more often apart than not, although we were married, our relationship has always tethered on thin ice. Dot. Yan Che held his breath, not understanding why Xia Kinayu was saying all this. She finally turned around to face Yan Che once more but both her face and eyes were icy cold, she emotionlessly crouched down, their marriage contract astonishingly in her hands. In order to preserve your dignity, I abandoned my foster father and my biological mother, in order to save you, I travelled all the way here, everything I've done so far has lived up to our married status and I no longer owe you anything, from now on, you'll belong to your western region's dragon god realm and I'll stick to my eastern region's moon god realm, we will go on our separate ways, without any debts or grievances between us, from this day forth, as husband and wife. We'll have cut off all ties. Rip. A light sound later, the marriage contract in Xia Kinayu's hands instantly ripped into several white pieces and then scattered into dust. Until they became nothingness, without any vestiges remaining. Shen's eye. Ah? He Ling's beautiful eyes widened as she blankly stared at the scene before her, she just could not understand it, for him. That girl had begged on her knees, not hesitating to use her life as a guarantee just a moment ago, why did she suddenly become this merciless king? All the blood in Yan Che's body madly gushed to his head and he could not breathe, you. She stood up, turned around, and coldly continued without bothering to look at him again, you should now understand how frightening Gain Yinger is, if you don't want to die. Don't bother leaving the dragon god realm before your wings have yet to fully develop, fifty years from now, whether I, Xia Kinayu, am dead or alive, have met fortune or misfortune, that will have nothing to do with you. Dot. Yan Che's mouth incessantly gaped, he wanted to say something, but once his blood rushed to his head, his brain went into turmoil and he could not voice a single word. The lengthy torture had already weakened his consciousness to its extremity but now that all his vital energy and blood surged to his head, the reverse flow of blood attacked his mind, the world before him suddenly went black as he fainted dead away. However, the hand gripping onto her skirt was still clutching the edges ever so tightly. As if it took all his strength and willpower to do so. Xia Kinayu lifted her head and took a deep breath before she stooped down to slowly loosen Yan She's hold on her skirt. She slowly advanced in silence, her expression calming with each step forward. After taking more than ten steps, her face was already a sheet of frost, without any visible gentleness and yearning. Senior Shinsai, Kinayu bids you farewell. After saying that, right when she intended to take flight, her body suddenly trembled fiercely, 
an arrow of blood spurt out from between her lips, staining the clean land before her with a glaring streak of scarlet. This bloody arrow seemed to have robbed her of all strength, she slowly sunk to the ground, shoulders repeatedly shuddering as teardrops silently fell between her dangling hair, no matter how much she tried, she was unable to cease her actions. A.I. A long sigh came over from between the heavens and earth, why must you do that to yourself? The shuddering of Xiaokinayu's shoulders was incomparably intense, yet she firmly resisted against making the slightest sound, it was only after a while that she finally stood up again and softly answered, I am no longer qualified to live for myself. Aside from you yourself, no one else can force you to such a state, Shinzai said gently. Xia Kinaiu faintly shook her head, with a wave of her jade hands, the vanishing moon celestial palace appeared overhead but she did not immediately enter and instead suddenly turned about, a ball of profound light flickered on her body, then, guided by her will, it flew toward the unconscious Yun Che. that profound light quickly latched onto Yun Che before disappearing into his body, at this time, the vanishing moon celestial palace flashed with a bright white light, and thus, the vanishing moon celestial palace had a change in ownership. Senior Shinsai, if Kinayu is still alive fifty years later, she will definitely repay today's gratitude, if Kinayu is no longer in this world by then. She will repay it in the next life. Shinsai. She rose into the air, flying far into the east, soon, her silhouette and aura disappeared in the ends of the east, leaving behind a heavy feeling of empty solitude. And that lengthy streak of blood which still glared scarlet. A pair of eyes looked in the direction she left towards and only withdrew after a very long time, a soft voice sighed, being possessed of such passion and character, yet so unyielding and stubborn, this kind wondrous girl is truly rare to behold, I hope the heavens may protect her. He Ling sat in a kneeling posture next to Yun Che since the start, her jade green colored eyes never leaving his body, this was the first time she met this man and she never interacted with him, in the past either, yet he had become her greatest, last hope. Master, is. Is he alright? He Ling asked worriedly, drops of translucent tears still hanging on her face, He Lin's attack was already too huge. If not for the hope named Yun She, she would have perhaps already collapsed. Bring him in. Yes. He Ling hurriedly wiped away the tears on her face and carefully carried Yun She into the barrier. Upon entering the barrier, the hazy mist outside the barrier instantly dissipated. What appeared in its place was an absolutely beautiful world filled with a myriad of colors. Here, the green grass swayed as hundreds of flowers contended with one another in beauty. It was an explosion of color with countless exotic flowers blossoming enchantingly, these flowers joined with the green grass around them, becoming a vast ocean of flora, beyond the flowers and grass, the air, the earth, the trees, the flowing water, and the sky. Everything was pure, as if they had come from an imaginary dreamland. Anyone who came here for the very first time would deeply believe that they had stepped into a fairy tale world there was no dust or filth, no crime, and no disputes. As he Ling's footsteps advanced, the flowers and grass beside her all lightly swayed in her direction, a few jade bees and colorful butterflies also cheerfully flew over, dancing around with her at their center. After passing through the world of flowers and grass, an extremely simplistic bamboo house stood before them, Crawling above the bamboo house were multiple emerald green vines that covered most of its surface, a similarly colored emerald green bamboo door also existed, but aside from that, there was no other decoration on this bamboo house, nor was there any other object of complexity in this world. There was no luxurious palace, no lustrous profound light. Only a small bamboo house which seemed to have fused with this world. In front of the bamboo house was the figure of a woman immersed in mist. No, if one came closer, they would discover that what covered her was not mist, but clearly a cluster of white light. The white light was visibly dense, yet looked exceptionally natural and gentle as it quietly concealed that silhouette, 
Although her face was obstructed from view, one could catch a faint outline of her incomparably beautiful figure. She did not seem to have been deliberately releasing that white light, it wrapped around her body like it was a part of her. Once ceiling approached, the woman within the white light slowly turned around, at the same time, a pure and holy aura came over, yes, it was pure and holy, so holy that it could possibly be considered divine, it made one clearly sense the filth in their body and soul, made one feel like kneeling on the ground, made one feel that if they came just one step closer and took just one more glance at her, it would be an unforgivable blasphemy. This aura was different from those temperaments cultivated in pure and holy environments, her divinity seemed to have come from the depths of her soul, and could also strike the depths of other souls. Healing gently lowered Yanche to the ground, then, she kneeled deeply, Master, it's Linger who made such a selfish request, Linger. No need to say any more. She gently shook her head, her voice exceptionally soft. This is the promise I made to you back then, I am merely honoring it now. Dot. Heart pounding, he Ling bit her lips, and did not say another word. She was already unable to return the favor of Wen Shen's eye saved her life back then, and in her heart, he Ling clearly understood what it meant for Yun Shei to stay at present. This kind of favor certainly could not be repaid in ten lifetimes. Even though fate was incredibly cruel to her. She was incomparably grateful that the heavens allowed her to come across this kind of master. Yan Che was still in an unconscious state but his body was tense and his face was still flooded with pain. As Shen Zai slightly leaned over, she gently pressed the pure white light downwards with her palm. A much thicker layer of white light immediately enveloped Yan Che's body, not fading for a long time. Under this layer of white light, Yan Che's body and the expression on his face relaxed bit by bit, even his breathing gradually became steadier, no longer rough. The Brahma's soul death wishing mark he has been afflicted with is currently the world's most malicious curse that simultaneously affects the soul, blood, tendons, and body, the one who planted this death wishing mark on him is the East and divine regions leader of the four king realms. The Brahma monarch god realms Gyan Yinga. Although she did not touch his body, with the other party's identity, she clearly understood the soul aura of the Brahma's soul death wishing mark, Brahma monarch, goddess. He Ling softly muttered, although she rarely made contact with the outside world, the title of Brahma monarch goddess was one of great reputation. The Brahma monarch goddess schemes deeply, she rarely shows herself in front of others and although she shows her hand even less, in order to plant the Brahma's soul death wishing mark on him, she actually did not hesitate to harm her own soul origin as the cost, it looks like this child has something she desperately seeks. Shinzai stated gently, each and every one of her words as soft as floating clouds. I is it for the wood spirit orb on him, Lina's wood spirit orb. Once she thought about it, He Ling's mind became chaotic once more, a royal wood spirit orb was an item of great rarity, one that would cause even king realms to get worked up to a frenzy? No, Shen Zai lightly shook her head, although a royal wood spirit orb is a relic that many would covet, it would not make Brahma monarch goddess go this far. In the following half month, I will use all my power to suppress his death wishing mark, this will make every consequential outbreak after the half month period less painful and fret not, I will keep him asleep the entire time, he Ling heavily kowtowed, master, linger, linger, we'll leave him to you, go, Shinzai said with a smile, yes, he Ling obediently rose, after taking another glance at Yun Che, she left with light steps, lest she disturb her, only after walking quite a distance away did she slowly crouch down, hugging her own shoulders, her entire silhouette nearly blending in with the floor around her, in the end, she could not control herself any longer, with a shudder of her shoulders and her hands desperately clasped over her lips, tears quickly streamed down her face, the wood spirit clan that ought to have received the protection of nature actually underwent this much suffering, if Lord Lee Suo were still alive, she would grieve, Shen Zai sighed faintly, she lifted her right hand, with a gentle press of her jade fingers, 
a mote of white light immediately floated down toward the center of Yan Che's brows. About to temporarily seal his memories, she told Xiaqin Ayu before that Yan Che's memories of his time in the land of Samsara would be sealed, he would no longer remember his past, and he would also have no memories about this place once he left, to Shinsai, this was something she was adamant about, the white beam fluttered, sinking between Yan Che's brows. But in the next instant, that mote of white light suddenly scattered, accompanied by a soul-suppressing dragon cry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In this world which only possessed the cries of insects, the dragon roar was especially frightening, it scared the weeping wood spirit girl, and shook the celestial figure covered in white even more. Master! The wood spirit girl quickly wiped away her tears and anxiously ran back, what happened, that sound from before. Before she had yet to finish her sentence, her beautiful eyes suddenly froze. Because she clearly saw the acute trembling of Shin's eyes like covered celestial figure, she had not even retrieved the pointing finger, leaving it hanging in the air. It was as if her soul had suddenly left her. Chapter 1303, Shin's eyes tears. Shin's eye pressed down with her finger once more, not answering He Ling's question. Another mote of light slowly floated down, touching the center of Yan Che's brows. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The white light scattered as yet another dragon roar reverberated through the incomparably pure space of the forbidden ground, shocking innumerable animals living there. Ah! He Ling was shocked back a step, she looked at Shin Sai, who was clearly out of sorts, and worriedly asked, Master, ah! Are you alright? Shinzai slowly withdrew her hand, the white light surrounding her was like candlelight blown by a gentle breeze as a slightly chaotic fluctuation appeared. He Ling stared at her in a daze and didn't know what to do, He Ling knew the identity of the woman before her, she was the world's most respected, most divine existence, she never asked about the affairs of the world, never entered the mortal realm, and would never be stirred by anything. She was like the leisurely clouds in the skies above, unstained by any extreme emotion or desire. He Ling had never seen, nor had she ever believed that such a reaction would appear on her body. She gently spoke after a long stretch of strange silence, I cannot seal his memories. Ah? Hand on her chest, He Ling did not know how to respond. Then, under her shocked gaze, Shen Zai slowly crouched down in front of Yan Che. This was the first time she had ever seen Shinzai lower her body before anyone. Even if it was an unconscious person. Shinzai stretched out a hand, she pressed a finger at his chest and stroked lightly as a cluster of holy white light also followed her fingertips, sensing her power, Yanche's chest flooded with a dark green radiance and released a pure aura exclusive to the wood spirit orb. But before Shinzai's hand had stopped, a bizarre attraction came from Yan Che's left hand. When the white light brushed over, a vermilion flash came from Yan Che's left arm, revealing a sword-shaped vermilion profound mark. A delicate little figure suddenly appeared within the brilliant light of the sword-shaped profound mark. She possessed vermilion-colored hair, a red as lustrous as crystal. Her face resembled sculpted jade and was filled with the immature innocence of a young girl. Her eyes were also vermilion. They sparkled like stars, radiant and moving. It was actually Honga. To Yan Che, and even the laws of this universe, Honga was an extremely special existence. She had clearly been under Jasmine's soul star relegation and had been subjected to the harshest master servant contract by Yan Che, yet her own will was still immensely independent. She was never completely obedient to Yan Che and frequently caused a commotion, cheating him or forcing him to compromise to her needs. She had also often left Yan Che's control and randomly appeared at will. Although that was true, she still had some propriety, and never exposed herself to outsiders. But this time, when Yan Che happened to be unconscious, she suddenly and voluntarily, appeared in front of Shen Zai. Ah! He Ling gently cried out, A. Hey, little girl. Phew. When Hong Er came out, she gave a big stretch, it was obvious that she had been sleeping just a moment ago, glinting with vermilion light, 
Her eyes scanned her surroundings before locking onto Shin's eye. Earnestly staring at her, her milk-white face slowly filling with doubt. Shin's eye stilled when she saw Hong and the two stood like that for a long time until she broke the silence. One, who? Is it really you, you're still alive? Dot. He Ling lightly covered her lips with her hand, she heard the tremors in Shin's eye's voice and even heard a hint of tears. Upon hearing her words, Hong a tilted her head, puzzled, one food, big sister, are you about to eat something? I just happen to be a little hungry now too. Oh right, big sister, who are you? I couldn't help but come out when I sensed your aura, why is that? And, and. She looked at the white light around Shinsai, confused and subconsciously bit her finger until she finally found the words she was looking for, and I feel really nostalgic. Weird. After saying that, she then said muttered to herself, if master finds out, he'll definitely get angry again. Seeing Honga's completely innocent eyes, Shinzai said gently, one who, do you really not remember me, I'm Shinzai. Shen breathe? Honga blinked, then giggled in mirth, big sister. Your name's really weird, I don't know why. But I feel like I really, really like you, as much as I like Master too, oh right. Do you want to be Master's wife, if you become his wife, I'll get to play with you often. Dot. Shen's eyes gaze fell on Yun Shi, you call him, Master? Yeah? Hong er nodded with a smile, Master's super good to me and gives me so many yummy things to eat. He even tells me really strange stories sometimes. Dot. She stared at Honga, and softly muttered, Master. How could there be someone in this world worthy of being your master? You don't remember me. Nor do you remember who you are? She asked softly, her voice dreamy. It was the first time in her life that she felt like she had fallen into dream. That soul piercing dragon cry and the vermilion figure before her seemed to all be a dream. Of course I do. Hong er crisply declared, I am Hong er, master's favorite Hong er. But who are you, big sister, why do you give me such a weird feeling? Oh er, uh, it's really weird, I always listen to master when he tells me to never randomly come out but I felt like I really really wanted to see you, Hong er. She gently murmured this name, then softly answered, because we were once the best of friends. Drip. Tears fell within white light, dripping onto the ground, covered in a layer of lustrous white radiance, the surrounding plants around her seemed to have been reborn as they released a vitality more than twice that of before. Ah? Hong gaped, her face full of shock, F friends, us, A, eh? big sister, why are you crying? Dot 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 I'm not. Shinzai gently shook her head. A soft smile graced her lips as she held out a hand that slowly neared Hong er. however, the fingers immersed in white light were unable to touch her as they quietly passed through a head of vermilion. Spirit body. She truly had become this human man's sword spirit. He he, only master can touch me, you know. Hong er beamed, but as long as master says it's okay, you can touch me too. Shin's eyes retrieved her hand and asked, as if she was also talking to herself, you were clearly inflicted with a devil poison that even Lord Lee Suo was unable to cleanse, how are you still alive, could it be? The sky poison pearl, eh? Hong as A's brightened as she vigorously nodded and said, whoa, big sister, you're so awesome, I just happened to be inside the sky poison pearl, you know, it's super big inside super comfortable to sleep in, and it even has a ton of really yummy things, I can't finish eating them all even if I tried, it's like Hong as home. Dot. Shin's eyes aura fluctuated as she looked at Yun Che in a new light, he. Has the sky poison pearl? Yeah? Hong giggled with a nod, in front of Shin's eye, she cast away all her defenses. So. It was like that. Her voice was incredibly light and soft to be recognized by the sky poison pearl as its master, it seems like your master is quite the special person, can you tell me more about your master? Sure, sure. 
Not only did Hong not hesitate, it was evident that she was very happy about it, but then she immediately put her hands over her little belly and said a little pitifully. But I'm a little hungry all of a sudden. Shen Zai smiled, with a wave of her white hands, a jade white short sword appeared within her grasp, is this okay? It was apparent that she was very familiar with what Hong liked to eat. Wah! Hong as A's brightened, shouting as she pounced over, grabbing onto the short sword, she took huge bites out of the sword without care, stunning the onlooking healing for quite a while. She had never seen Shen's eye like this, nor did she understand anything the vermilion girl had said. Eastern Divine Region, Eternal Heaven God Realm after the strange turn of events at the Moon God Realm's wedding celebration, the various star realms were all sent back to the Eternal Heaven God Realm amidst confusion, aside from those star realms and sects with disciples that had been selected to become Heaven Chosen Children, the others all left in great haste. Mu Binian allowed Mu Huanzai to lead the Divine Ice Phoenix sect disciples back. But she herself remained and did her best to find Yun Che and Xia Kinayu's whereabouts, but even after several days had passed, there was no word from either Yun Che or Xia Kinayu. One day, when Mu Bai Nian was about to go ask to see the Eternal Heaven God Emperor, an icy silhouette flashed before her and Mu Xiuanian silently came out from the air. Big sister. Mu Binian seemed to finally have found support once she saw Mu Xiuanian. Where have you been these couple of days, why couldn't I contact you, Yan Che, he? He's currently, I don't even know what I should do. The moon god realm's affairs had pretty much imploded, it would not take many days for everyone to know about the ridicule of a king realm so there was no reason for Mugzuanian to not know about it. As for the moon god realm's fury, that would naturally fall upon the heads of Yan Che and Xiaqinayu. That was the fury of a king realm. Where is he? Mu Xiuanian asked. Mu Binian shook her head. I don't know, we still haven't heard from him. Mu Xiuanian's crescent brows fiercely twitched, he isn't back yet. Mu Xiuanian's reaction stunned Mu Binian. Of course not, I've been trying to get news about him all these days here, without success. Big sister, why would you say that? Dot. Mugzuanian did not answer for a long while, what happened? They had obviously escaped Gian Yinger's vile clutches, coming back to the eternal heaven god realm would be the best choice, why weren't they back yet? No news, which meant, that they had not returned to the moon god realm, and perhaps not even the eastern divine region. Where did they go, what in the world happened? Whether it was her or Jasmine, neither of them knew that Qian Yinga had placed the Brahma soul death wishing mark on Yan Che. Big sister, what happened? Mu Binian anxiously asked. Dot. Mu Xiuanian shook her head, nothing, he should be back s. Cough. Before she finished her sentence, she suddenly gave a violent cough. Her snowy mind instantly paling. Mu Binian was shocked, you're injured, what happened? Who did it? Just a very light injury, no need to worry. Mugzuanian clearly did not want to divulge any details, her face quickly frosted over. Yan Che has already decided to enter the Eternal Heaven Pearl, so he will definitely return before the Eternal Heaven Divine Realm opens. Go back to Snow Song, I will stay here and wait for him. No. Mu Binian rejected, you being here is already a huge risk, if you were to be found. The consequences would be unthinkable. Mugzuanian sank into silence before answering with a slight nod of her head, all right. Once she said that, she turned around, about to leave. Sis, where are you going? Moon God Realm. Once her voice fell, her figure gradually faded, only leaving behind a light, icy after image. On Yun Che, Moon splitting cascades realm of invisibility was already considered a world defying divine technique that would even shock a crowd of divine masters. On Mugzuanian, however, it could truly be called supernatural. As powerful as the eternal heaven god realm was, to her, it was like an uninhabited world. Chapter 1304 The Mysterious Shinsai 
it was unknown how long Yan Che was unconscious for until he finally began to stir, when he regained consciousness, a fragrant scent assaulted his senses, ah, you're awake, the delighted shout of a girl sounded beside his ears, when he opened his eyes, emerald green eyes possessed by a beautiful girl, who seemed to have walked out of a painting, stared back at him. Her red-rimmed eyes and tear stained cheeks revealed that she had been crying not too long ago. Whether it was his body or soul, he no longer felt pain, instead of the feeble exhaustion one would feel after a lengthy period of torture and loss of consciousness. He felt incredibly comfy, he stood up in a slight daze, then saw an ocean of myriad flowers, the sounds of insects and birds were like music to his ears, the breeze was gentle the skies were clear, and there was a fairy in front of him, even after taking several breaths of air, Yan Che believed that he was still asleep, that he was in a celestial land inside his dream, he, Ling, Yan Che's gaze fixed onto the wood spirit girl before him, he Ling, he Lin's older sister, back then, he Lin had left the hideout to find his older sister, back then, he Lin had kneeled before him and begged him to become his master to find his older sister, back then, He Lin had given him his wood spirit orb at his last breath and the only request he made, with streaming tears, was to find his older sister, he had finally found her, he had not forgotten, before he lost consciousness, she was the one who kneeled before Shen Zai and pleaded for his sake, thus causing Shinzai to permit him entrance to the forbidden land of Samsara and simultaneously allowing him to escape the nightmare of the death-wishing mark. Dot. I beg of you, in my place, please find my sister. I am the last of the Wood Spirit's royal bloodline, I was the hope of the entire race, however, I'm just that useless, I couldn't protect sister, I couldn't protect my people, I couldn't do anything at all. If I carry on living, I'll only bring disaster upon big brother Yan Che who has been nothing but sincere and good to me, this useless me, I cannot find sister and I won't be able to protect her either, I can only, only be so selfish as to beg big brother Yan Che, don't speak any more, don't worry, even if I have to travel through the entire god realm, I will definitely find your sister, I will protect her, I'll kill anyone who wants to harm her even if I have to give my life, I will never let her come to any harm, this I swear, I swear this upon my life, thank you, big brother Yan Shi, this is, the only, way I can repay you, when I was very young, father and mother once mentioned, our wood spirit orb was extremely special, it was called a miracle seed, I really hope that one day, it will really, give big brother Yan Shi a miraculous power, Dot. Yan Che unwittingly covered his heart with his hand, the words He Lin said back then with his tears and his life had never left his heart, he did not forget a single word. This time, it wasn't just He Ling who had saved him, but also He Lin, if it wasn't for his wood spirit orb, even if he wasn't dead by now, he would have been living a life worse than death. Amen. The wood spirit girl vigorously nodded. She thought she had already cried out all her tears but once Yan Che called out her name, tears instantly blurred her vision, that's me, you, seeing this man before her, who was obviously a stranger, possess an aura she was most familiar with, caused her to choke with emotion, she found it hard to speak, thank you, for saving me, Yan Che straightened and cleanly thanked her, dot, my older sister, her name is He Ling, he Ling. Then, what does she look like, is there anything different about her features with regard to other wood spirits? Big sister is a very good looking wood spirit and is the most beautiful sister in the world, she is prettier than any flower, prettier even than the stars and the moon in the night sky. Dot. Yan Che originally thought that the words He Lin had said back then were due to the instinctive admiration he felt toward his older sister. It was only now that he had seen this wood spirit girl in the flesh, right before him, that he realized He Lin had not exaggerated at all. A wood spirit's body contained the pure power of nature, whether they were male or female, all of them possessed incredible looks, 
this could be considered a favor nature power gave them, He Ling was the last descendant of the wood spirit race's royal line, this was exhibited at its pinnacle before her, the beauty of all those flowers paled in comparison to her magnificence, the tear stains on her face would make the entire world mourn in sadness. The wood spirit girl shook her head, during his period of unconsciousness, she visited every day, but now that he had awakened, she timidly avoided his gaze. How? Long was I asleep for? Yan Che asked. Thirteen days. She answered him in a small voice and sneakily took a glance at him before immediately shifting her beautiful eyes away. He's not Elin after all, this was the first time she had been this close to a human male. Thirteen days. Yan Che muttered, sighing inwardly. Even if he no longer had the Brahma soul death wishing mark on him, he would still not be able to enter the eternal heaven divine realm in time. Seeing the ring on his finger which came from Xi, he sadly thought to himself, Jasmine, I am already destined to never fulfill the promise I made to you. And Xi, Kian, Yi, Ying. Ah, uh, when this name and that golden figure flashed in his head, an evil energy instantly gushed from his heart. But once his gaze met the wood spirit girl in front of him, he rigidly suppressed it. That woman was too frightening. She could use a single finger to destroy stars with her profound strength, her schemes were deep, and although she was as vicious as a snake, she just happened to be extremely cautious as well, she was able to evade the A's and D's of the world, yet when she struck out against someone like him who could not resist her at all outside the eastern divine region, she did not hesitate to inflict him with the Brahma soul death wishing mark. Yan Che was a person who never feared the strong, back when he was only in the divine soul realm, he dared to go against the entire black soul divine sect alone and bring mayhem to both their realm king and sect. Kian Yinga, however, was just too powerful, in front of her, Yan Che clearly felt like he was an ant under the suppression of a heavy mountain, no matter how he did his best with his power, methods, or thoughts, he could not move a single inch. She had already dealt her hand, implanting the Brahma soul death wishing mark on him, so there was no reason for her to hold back. Now that he could not enter the eternal heaven pearl? Did this mean that he had to live his life under her shadow? Yan Che's scalp went numb just thinking about her dreadfulness and the torture he had just suffered from the Brahma soul death wishing mark, his soul shivered as he thought to himself, Kian Yinga, I won't die this easily. If there comes a day that you fall in my hands, I'll rape you ten thousand times before I hack you into pieces. He gave his life's most malicious curse to Kian Yinga. Indeed, due to the disparity between them, he could only think about it. W what's wrong, are you hurting again? He Ling anxiously asked when she saw Yan Che's expression begin to slightly distort. Yan Che recovered his senses and hurried replied, No, number. I was only thinking about some things, W, what about that senior Shinzai, I haven't thanked her for saving my life. He Ling's gaze shifted to where the bamboo house stood in the ocean of flowers and said softly, Master is currently in meditation, we can't disturb her when she's in meditation but Master has been suppressing your Brahma soul death wishing mark every day so she won't meditate too long, you should be able to see her soon, all right. Yan Che answered with a nod, and then asked, So what kind of a person is Senior Shinzai? I've never heard of her before I came here. Kian Yinga had said that she was the only person who could release the Brahma soul death wishing mark, with her level of power, there was no doubt in her words. Yet Shinzai was able to. And now he did indeed not feel the pain of the death wishing mark. What kind of person was she, to actually suppress a power at the level of Kian Yinga? No wait, Kian Yinga said that if someone was afflicted with her death wishing mark, even a god emperor would wish for death and beg for mercy, could she be even stronger than a god emperor? Moreover, the place where she lived was actually the biggest forbidden ground in the dragon god realm? He Ling thought about it, then replied, Master is a really powerful, really great person, it was Master who saved me three years ago and because she pitied me since I was alone, she brought me here but I don't really know anything else about Master, 
I only know that. Something seems to be restricting Master, forcing her to remain here, even though she can leave once in a while, she can't leave for long or she'll disappear. Dot 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 disappear? This word left Yun Che dumbstruck. Mn, that's what Master said, He Ling said with a light nod, Master meditates every day in order to break free from this restriction, this time, because of me, Masters. Going to take more time to break the restriction. She hung her head, tightly biting her lips. More time. Was not just ten or a hundred years, but twenty thousand years. Dot. Yan Che was stunned, then said hurriedly, No, not because of you, because of me. He had heard everything Shinzai's gentle voice had said when he was outside the forbidden land of Samsara. He remembered that she would waste a full 20,000 years of heart's blood if she were to save him. This meant that she had delayed breaking free of the restriction by 20,000 years when she saved him. He scratched his head, this was another huge freaking favor he couldn't repay. He had always encountered all sorts of disasters in his life before meeting his saviors one after another. He wasn't sure if he should grieve or rejoice about it. It was no wonder that she was still firm in her rejection when Xia Kinayu pleaded to her utmost, a whole twenty thousand years, even to divine masters, this length of time was extremely long, after all, humans in the divine master realm had a lifespan of fifty thousand years, but in the end, she had actually agreed to save him. This was simply inconceivable. He Ling still shook her head and then lifted her gaze her eyes which had evaded Yun Che's since the very start suddenly fixed on him, she asked with an extremely soft voice, can you, tell me what happened to my Lina, H how, did he, die, when she said that, Yun Che saw a trace of deep pain in He Ling's crystalline green eyes, Yun Che had long known that the relationship between the siblings was extremely tight due to He Lin's worrying about her, to He Ling, he Lin's death did not just contain the impact of losing her last relative, but the annihilation of the Wood Spirit Royal Family's line. All right. Yan Che nodded, even if it was extremely cruel, he had to tell He Ling. I met He Lin in a lower star realm called the Darkia Realm. At that time, I wholeheartedly wanted a Wood Spirit Orb. Then he told He Ling everything, about how his desire for a Wood Spirit Orb led him to enter the Darkia Realm led him to purchase Helin, about how he couldn't kill Helin in the final moment and instead sent him back to their hideout. Which ended up in a massacre of wood spirits, he told her everything in detail, and dictated every word and action Helin had said and done to her, all the way to when Helin offered him his royal wood spirit orb, to when he finally tearfully dissipated in his arms. He Ling silently listened without interrupting him, when she heard all those familiar names and then heard him say that they had all died. Her snowy hands tightly covered her lips as teardrops crazily poured down, her entire body shook violently, as though she was amidst a freezing windstorm. Dead, all. Dead. She whimpered as she sobbed, each word bringing about more tears. Dot. Yan Che did not dare to look her in the eye. I was the one who harmed them, I was the one who brought disaster to that place, I burned the mastermind, Ulkian Feng's corpse where they rested, but, Yan Che's voice suddenly stopped there, because he saw a green colored droplet fall to the land beside his legs. He abruptly lifted his head, and in his shock, he saw two streaks of emerald green water stains on He Ling's snowy mine, that was the color of a wood spirit's blood. What was even scarier was that her originally emerald green eyes were covered in a heavy layer of grey. Yan Che's heart lurched. He quickly held onto He Ling's shoulders. He Ling, He Ling, you, Granny King Yi, Uncle King Mu, Fian, Zhu Yin, King Zhu, are all dead. All. Dead. Each and every soft cry came with the bleeding of her heart. Her eyes were unfocused. There was only pain, despair, and more and more grey. A kind of grey which definitely should not have appeared on a wood spirit. He Ling. Yan Che forcefully shook her delicate shoulders and said anxiously, Listen to me, they're not here anymore, you are the last descendant and hope of the wood spirit royal family so you have to stay strong, 
Since I have Helen's wood spirit orb, I can be considered half a wood spirit, I will go look for the other wood spirits with you and protect them from now on, you mustn't. A hand powerlessly pushed him away as he Ling turned around and ran away, leaving behind a lingering trail of green blood. He Ling. Yan Che quickly stood up, right when he was about to give chase, a soft sigh came from behind him. A.I. Let her go. Yan Che stilled, and then turned about, bathed in a pure and holy white light, her face was indiscernible, and only her beautiful, illusory figure could seen. She was obviously within reach, yet it seemed like she was standing at an unreachable height. Shen Zai. Chapter 1305, Eternal Heaven's Secret, 1. Senior Shen Zai, Yan Che bowed with heartfelt gratitude, thank you for the great mercy you have shown in saving my life. There's no need to thank me, if you want to thank someone, you should thank Klinger. Before meeting Shen Tsai, Yan Che had never thought that a person's voice could actually be so pleasant to the ear. It was as soft as a wispy cloud and as beautiful as nature's song, it simply sounded as if it was celestial music that had descended from the heavens, something that should not exist in this dirty mortal realm. That celestial voice lingered around Yan Che's ear as a bizarre feeling of weakness spread throughout Yan Che's entire body. It was only after being dazed for half a breath that he finally spoke, the debt that I owe He Ling, and the debt that I owe Senior Shin Sai, this junior definitely will not dare to ever forget them. Please rise, Shin Sai's voice became even gentler, from today onward, there will be no need for you to be formal with me or to pay any obeisance towards me, the customs of mortals do not exist in this place. Yan Che was stunned by those words and he rose to his feet as he said, I understand, this junior will remember. Stretch out your hand. As she said those gentle words, Shen Zai had already started to slowly extend her right arm. That hand was extremely beautiful, it was more flawless than first snow, more lustrous than divine jade, it was as if a celestial maiden had stretched out her supple hand from a dream. Furthermore, the hazy white light radiating from that hand also increased the feeling that this was an illusion by several degrees. Yan Che unconsciously caught his breath. To think that a woman's hand could be so beautiful that it would actually take his breath away, moreover, even his own stretched out hand seemed to freeze in midair, as if it was actually a bit reluctant to draw near to hers, as if he was afraid that he would profane her. Shen Zai's wrist made a small movement, and as her jade finger pointed outwards, a cluster of white light flew towards Yan Che, coming into contact with the back of his hand. Immediately, fine and delicate golden markings appeared on Yan Che's body and in the blink of an eye, they covered his entire body. The Brahma soul death wishing mark. When the golden markings started to flash, it was also the signal for the Brahma soul death wishing mark to start to violently flare up, but at this time, even though Yan Che's body was clearly covered by golden markings, he did not feel the slightest bit of pain, he glanced downwards only to discover that a very thin layer of incomparably pure and lustrous white profound light was shining on top of the golden markings. Following a slight movement of Shen Zai's jade finger, that lustrous white profound light became slightly more dense. What kind of strength was this? Yan Che muttered in his heart, it was not any kind of power that he recognized, and it was definitely not pure profound energy either, yet it was a power that could contain such a degree of purity. After that soft and tender arm was withdrawn, Shen Zai said in a soft voice, the Brahma soul death seeking mark afflicting your body has been suppressed but in the coming months, there is still a possibility that it will flare up again, however, the pain you experience should be a pain that you are able to endure, you should thank the wood spirit orb in your body, if not your body would not be able to react to my power in such an intimate fashion, normally, suppressing the mark to such an extent would require more than ten times the amount of time, the wood spirit orb, reacted to her power in an intimate fashion, I will suppress it once every twenty-four hours, and during this period the Brahma soul death wishing mark will dissipate in an extremely slow fashion, furthermore, if it is not suppressed for more than 24 hours, 
the Braham soul death wishing mark will once again take root inside of you and all of the previous efforts would have been for naught, please remember this particular point, yes, Yanche said as he nodded his head, I'll be in your care, senior Shenzai, Shenzai's words meant that before the Brahma soul death wishing had completely dissipated, he would be unable to leave this place, if not, he would once again completely fall into that deep abyss where he would not be able to die even if he wanted to. Senior Shinsai, if I may be so presumptuous. Does this junior really have to stay here for fifty years? Yanche asked. His heart filled with boundless complex feelings. Shinsai did not give a direct answer to that, instead she spoke softly, even if you have an untold number of worries in the outside world you still need to remain in this place until the Brahma soul death wishing mark has fully dissipated. Because other than me and the person who afflicted you with that mark, no one else can release you from it. Dot 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 I understand, Yanche said with a small nod of his head. Shenzai turned around, she clearly existed in this world, but when one looked at her, a feeling that it was all just an illusion would well up in one's heart, it was like this for Yanche as well. The girl who delivered you to this place left the vanishing moon celestial palace here for you, it is just outside the barrier, go and retrieve it. He had not needed Shinzai's reminder, after he had woken up, Yan Che had sensed that there was one more thing interacting with his soul, it was the interaction between him and the vanishing moon celestial palace. Xiaqinayu had left and had forcefully severed the destiny that they had shared together yet she had left him one of the best divine tools that could be used to preserve one's life, a divine tool that could even shake off the pursuit of a divine master, she. As the word left his lips, he felt a slight pain pierce his heart, Yan Che forcefully sucked in a breath before he continued speaking, when she left, did she say anything? As she sensed Yan Che's worry and the chaos in his heart, Shinzai said in a gentle voice, are you afraid that she returned to the moon god realm to face death? It was very clear that Shenzai had been able to understand something of the situation during the days when Yan Che had been unconscious. Even though this was a place that existed outside the mortal realm, Yan Che's name had already shaken the entire god realm, so the commotion that he and Xiaqinayu had caused was something that everyone under heaven knew. The rumors grew spicier with each retelling and if one wanted to know, it would be all too easy. Dot 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 yes, Yan Che nodded his head, this whole affair has definitely enraged the entire moon god realm, moreover, she also feels an intense guilt towards her foster father and her mother, so even if they were to put her to death, she would not have a single complaint, and she would put up even less resistance. The moon god emperor was Xiaqinayu's foster father, this was a secret that extremely few people knew, but he had unconsciously blurted it out in a moment of vulnerability and disconcertion. Feelings that were like thin ice, cutting off all ties. When he remembered the words that Xiaqinayu had said when she left and when he recalled the blood stains on her moon robes, the tears that she had shed for him, the way that she had thrown away all her dignity as she begged on his behalf, and the vanishing moon celestial palace that she had left behind for him, Yanche gave a deep and gloomy sigh of lamentation in his heart, if their feelings were truly as thin as ice, then why would she do all of this, you are doing this to diffuse all the resentment and anger the moon god realm has towards me, or perhaps you are afraid that after you die, I will seek out my vengeance against the moon god realm. If these were truly the case, then you have also thought far too little of me. What you destroyed was merely a pale white wedding contract, a piece of paper, it was only a marriage contract, but everything else was still completely perfect and whole, and those are things that will never fade away. Dot. Shinzai lapsed into a brief moment of heavy silence, after that a light and gentle sigh came from her lips. She has placed herself in her current situation all to protect your dignity, a girl who is able to make that kind of choice, there indeed are very few girls like that in this world. Yan Che, but you don't need to worry. A gentle voice that was as soft as floating cotton brushed across Yan Che's very soul, and it was as if it was warmly and gently comforting him, when she departed, 
It was not with the determination to die, instead, it seems like she had made a very important decision, perhaps, the experiences that she went through with you over the past few days has caused a few changes to occur in her heart and mind. Perhaps I should say it in a way that is more fitting to her situation. Underneath that white glow, Shenzai faintly lifted her eyes and that warm and cozy celestial voice seemed to contain several degrees of mysterious expectation, her heart of glazed glass has started to awaken, the heart of glazed glass, has started to awaken? Yan Che clearly did not understand the implications behind those words as he was left somewhat dumbfounded, will awakening it, bring her the protection of heaven? It will not. Completely contrary to Yan Che's expectations, Shenzai shook her head instead, the world has said that the heart of glazed glass is part of the remaining power of the ancestral god so it is above the laws of heaven and thus, the one who possesses it can obtain the protection of heaven, but in reality, those are merely fabrications that the world assumes is correct. A look of shock and astonishment appeared on Yan Che's face. The woman who possessed the heart of glazed glass was called the daughter of the heavens and was known as the one who received the protection of the heavens, this was not just something the everyday man on the street was saying, it was something that even divine masters and the god emperors themselves firmly believed. Then what does the heart of glazed glass starting to awaken? Actually imply? Yan Che asked. Once the heart of glazed glass awakens, one's power, wisdom, vision, and soul will all undergo changes which appear strange on the surface. But their speed of growth will become so fast that it would be inconceivable to a normal person, and the changes to their wisdom and vision will cause them to no longer be willing to be under anyone else. At the very least, that person definitely will no longer be weak, hesitant, or bewildered. The Eternal Heaven Ancestor was the first example of this all those years ago. She was originally a mortal woman, yet she became the first eternal heaven god emperor and she even convinced the eternal heaven pearl to submit to her. The heart of glazed glass is, for all intents and purposes, a true divine miracle. I had originally thought that it would not be possible for another heart of glazed glass to appear in this world. But perhaps, she is the final divine miracle, just on this point alone. Even the term the protection of the heavens doesn't seem the least bit incorrect. Shenzai's words were hard for Yan Che to understand. Because no one had ever made clear exactly what kind of existence the heart of glazed glass was, and all the rumors and information surrounding it had been centered on the words protection of the heavens. Yet Shenzai had given another answer, an answer completely different from the rest of them. When Qian Yinga made her move against you, Perhaps she did not think that her actions would forcibly create such a fearsome opponent. Shinzai glanced to the side as if she was gently looking at Yan Che, within fifty years, she will definitely be able to become a threat to Qian Yinga, you need to believe in the divine miracle that exists within her body. Fifty years. Why does it have to be fifty years? Yan Che asked in a baffled voice because if she isn't able to contend against Qian Yinga within the next fifty years, you will eternally live under the dark shadow of Qian Yinga after you leave this place, the reason she forcefully cut off all ties with you is also because she is afraid of her own failure. Shinzai took a slow step forward, it was only a single light and gentle step, yet her body started to become more and more illusory before disappearing within those myriad flowers but her celestial voice still lingered in his ears, I hope that after I have said all of these things, you will be able to feel more at ease. Yan Che quietly stood in that place, and he did not leave for a very long period of time. Shinzai's words had not caused him to feel less tense, on the contrary, they had instead made his heart feel even heavier. Kinayu, what exactly are you going to do? Dot. The eternal heaven god realm, the day when the eternal heaven divine realm was about to be opened. All of the heaven chosen children had gathered together long ago, but even including the young profound practitioner who had replaced Y Hen, only 999 people were gathered in this place, Yan Che was yet to be seen. 
the eternal heaven divine realm was right before their very eyes and all of the gathered heaven chosen children felt apprehension fill their hearts at the thought of being separated from the world for three thousand years, yet at the same time, every single one of them was also filled with great anticipation and excitement, they could cultivate with no distractions at all for three thousand years within the eternal heaven pearl, yet it would only be a short three years in the world outside. This was well and truly what could be called reaching the heavens in a single step. Within the crowd of people, a snow white figure stood in the center, the people around him had given him a very wide berth, it was as if no one was willing to be near to him and it also seemed as if he was also not willing to be close to any of them. Holy Ave's realm, Luo Chengxing. All of the injuries he had suffered at the hands of Yan Che one month ago had completely recovered, at least, that was what it looked like on the surface. But a clear change had happened to the aura that he radiated, even though it was still as gentle and warm as water, the depths of his eyes now contained a startlingly sinister malevolence. When he had fought Yun Che the first time, even though he had lost, all of his best points had been up on display, furthermore, he battled with every bit of power and will that he had, so his reputation had only been increased by that loss but during the second battle, at the same time he had become a divine king, the other side of himself that had been hiding in the depths of his soul had erupted due to his loss against Yun Shi. in the end, this caused him to not only lose some profound strength, it also caused him to lose all of his face and dignity, compared to the past, his entire person had undergone a complete and utter change, at the very least, that was what the people who had met once again all felt, However, even though he had lost to Yun Che, and even though that loss had been incredibly miserable, he was still Luo Chengxing. The exceptional genius who possessed three divine powers and could use three different elements, the youngest divine king in the history of the eastern divine region. Just what heights would he reach after three thousand years, this was something that no one dared to estimate. After a somewhat long period of waiting, an ancient figure slowly strode out at this moment. The eternal heaven god emperor. He was about to personally send these heaven chosen children, that had been selected during the profound god convention, into the eternal heaven divine realm. Chapter 1306, Eternal Heaven's Secret, 2. All those who are gathered here are the youths on whom all the hopes of the eastern divine region rests upon. As he stood in front of the young people who were gathered in this place, the eternal heaven god emperor's expectant gaze swept over each and every one of those youthful faces, during this period of time, all of you should have heard of the existence of that crimson crack, and you also should have understood that this is not only an honor and opportunity for all of you, it is something that carries the weight of both hope and responsibility. Of course, he said with a bland laugh. It is also very possible that this crack in the wall of primal chaos is nothing more than a crimson illusion, so, you also don't need to give yourselves too much pressure, and there is even less need for your hearts and minds to become disordered by this, dutifully improve yourselves within the eternal heaven divine realm, do not squander this sort of opportunity, please do not worry, eternal heaven god emperor, Lu Lengxuan spoke up. As the sons and daughters of the East and Divine Region, if a calamity truly does break out in the future, even if we did not have this opportunity, that was bestowed upon us by the Eternal Heaven Realm, we would also devote our strength in stopping this calamity, even if it costs us our lives. If someone else had said the words that Li Lengxuan had just said, it might very well be a very passionate form of flattery but every word that came out of his mouth was as resolute and solid as iron. The eternal heaven god emperor glanced at Li Lengxuan, he gave a small nod and a faint smile as a look of admiration appeared on his face, after that, he said, after you have entered the eternal heaven divine realm, you will have a small independent world to yourselves and unless you yourselves allow it, no one else will be able to enter the small worlds of the others whether you want to focus on your cultivation independently or whether you want to join your forces and cultivate together, it is up to your own wishes. Furthermore, once the eternal heaven divine realm closes, it will only open up three years later, as such, 
during the 3000 years that you are inside the realm, there will be no way for you to get out, so if any incidents happen, there will also be no one who can help you, so if there is anyone who feels repulsed or terrified of these upcoming 3000 years, you can bow out, there is no one who will force you to undertake this task, no one replied to him, because there would not be anyone who would reject such an unprecedented and enormous opportunity, good. After that the eternal heaven god emperor gave a brief nod of his head, with a small wave of his arm, the world around them immediately lit up with a dense white glow, the eternal heaven divine realm has been opened, once you enter, it will mean three thousand years, in three years time, I hope that the young and tender youths who have gathered here today will be able to become yet another power from the eastern divine region that can reach the heavens. Every single word that the eternal heaven god emperor said carried a deep hope, go on in then. Wait a minute. Just as the eternal heaven god emperor's voice had fallen, four anxious voices rang out in the air simultaneously. Lu Leng Xuan, Qiuo Poyan, and Shui Meian. Astonishingly enough, the other person was actually Luo Chengxing. Qiuo Poyan took a step forward as he spoke in an anxious voice, brother Yan Che, he, the eternal heaven god emperor raised a hand before giving a slow shake of his head, actually, all of you should have entered the eternal heaven divine realm this morning, but now, it is already evening, sigh, such is the will of heaven, Yan Che, the divine child that had radiated such heaven shaking brilliance on that conferred god stage, there was no doubt that the eternal heaven god emperor was more disappointed and disconsolate than anyone else at the fact that Yan Che was not able to enter the eternal heaven divine realm. These were the young people who had all demonstrated their extraordinary skills and talents during the profound god convention, and all of them were so young that they were below sixty years of age, so for Yan Che not to enter the eternal heaven divine realm meant that there would be a whole three thousand year gap between them and him once they had emerged. Furthermore, the level of the aura in the eternal heaven divine realm was not only exceptionally high, but it also allowed any profound practitioner who cultivated there to be truly free of all distractions, so the three thousand years within this realm was comparable to six thousand years in the outside world. And even if one were to say it was the equivalent of ten thousand years, it would not be deemed as unwarranted or excessive talk. This also meant that after three years, the Yanche who had originally reigned above them all would become as tiny as a speck in front of them, even the weakest among them would far exceed Yanche in strength and level once these three years had passed. They would become the cornerstones of the eastern divine region while Yanche, who had not entered the eternal heaven divine realm would remain a god child from the younger generation. And nothing more than that. The time has come, put aside all thoughts which may distract you, from today onwards, all of the profound practitioners in the eastern divine region will eagerly anticipate the moment all of you emerge from the eternal heaven divine realm. I hope that three years from now, Every single one of you will be able to radiate a light that will illuminate the entire eastern divine region. The eternal heaven god emperor gave a push of his hand as a pure wind, that could not be resisted, immediately swept all of the young profound practitioners into the white light behind them. The world behind them immediately glowed with a strong white light, several breaths later, after the white light had dissipated, the eternal heaven divine realm had slowly sealed itself and the young profound practitioners who had been sent into that place would only be able to emerge after three years had passed, moreover, after spending three thousand years in the eternal heaven divine realm, each and every one of them would undergo incredibly enormous changes, this was especially true for those young profound practitioners who had high hopes placed on them, the ones who possessed extraordinary talent it was very likely that they would go from being excellent and famous people from the younger generation to personages who would be able to reach the highest level in the eastern divine region, or perhaps even the highest level in the entire realm of the gods. Yet Yan Che, the one who had the greatest expectations placed upon him, just had to be the person who had missed out. 
The eternal heaven divine emperor himself actually had the unique right to freely enter and exit the eternal heaven divine realm, but since Yun Shei was not among those who had entered, his interest had waned and he no longer entertained this idea. All of the heaven chosen children had entered the eternal heaven divine realm, yet the eternal heaven god emperor had not left the place yet. He looked at the empty world in front of him before he suddenly gave a heavy sigh of lament. Oh ancestor, if he arrives here afterwards, is there truly no way for us to reopen the eternal heaven divine realm for him? This child's performance and the strange state of his body were something that you personally witnessed yourself, even though it is hard to completely believe the words regarding him becoming a true god, given his ceiling, he might just be able to truly break through all the known limits and ceilings at this point, as such. If the crimson calamity truly erupts in the future, he would have become our greatest and most brilliant hope at that time. For the king realms, they always desired to become ever stronger, but at the same time, they definitely did not want anyone to become stronger than them. Yanche's nine stage lightning tribulation, child of the heavens and true god prophecy. Every single one of them had fiercely plucked at the nerves of all the great king realms causing them to shake from shock and covet his powers. To the point where they envied or even feared him. All of them wanted to know the secrets behind Yun Che's aptitude and natural endowments, if they could, none of them would spare anything to steal him for themselves. If they were not able to, when Yun Che truly started to display strength which surpassed all understanding, they would definitely start plotting to wipe him from the face of this earth. As the peak existences within this primal chaos dimension, the king realms would definitely not allow anything stronger than them to emerge. The only exception to this rule was the eternal heaven god realm, this was a king realm that had followed the righteous path since the advent of its existence, a king realm that was revered by all the profound practitioners in the eastern divine region, as the realm king of the eternal heaven realm. The eternal heaven god emperor truly admired the freak that was Yan Che, and he also truly wished to see him become strong and become the glorious light of the eastern divine region, so that he could also become the strongest power that could oppose that calamity in the future. So he had never envied or coveted Yan Che, and he had definitely not thought of killing him. On the contrary, once Yan Che's light had gotten a bit too bright, he started having the intention to protect him. The reverence the eastern divine region held towards the eternal heaven realm had never been an empty or hollow one. Even Jasmine had emphasized one thing to Yun She, she had stressed to him that he should not leave the eternal heaven realm at all before entering the eternal heaven divine realm, because the eternal heaven god emperor definitely would not harm him. But no one had thought that such an incident would have taken place within the moon god realm. But on the other hand, since Gian Yinga had already known about Yun Che's greatest secret and had decided to ensure that he would not enter eternal heaven divine realm, even if that incident in the moon god realm had not happened, even if he had not taken a single step outside of the eternal heaven realm, he would have still been struck by Gian Yinga's poisonous hands, and it was highly possible that even the eternal heaven god realm would not have been able to sense it. This was simply how dreadful and fearsome Kian Yinga was. As the eternal heaven god emperor's voice faded away, an ancient voice suddenly rang out in the empty world in front of him. To be able to open it once for that period of three thousand years is already the utmost limit of the eternal heaven pearl's power, given the aura of primal chaos which grows more turbid with each passing day. I do not know how many years it will take for it to recover to the point where it could open up once more. That ancient voice was hollow and indistinct, as if it had come from an incredibly distant world, yet it also contained a world weariness that was heavy to the point where it was inconceivable. A.I. The eternal heaven god emperor let out another long sigh of lament, could it be that this is truly the will of the heavens? I had originally thought that he would return to the eternal heaven realm within the next few days, yet there still hasn't been any correspondence from him yet, so it's likely that he is no longer within the eastern divine region, I'm worried that someone has already taken the opportunity to make a move against him in secret, the people who can actually mount a pursuit of the vanishing moon celestial palace can be counted on one hand, 
however, each and every one of those people just so happen to be the ones who would most likely covet him the most, sigh, that is his own destiny, there is no need for you to brood over it any longer. The ancient voice rang out once again, during the past few years, you have poured all your strength into preparing to face this crimson calamity, there are very few who believe, and there is only you who has no choice but to believe. The eternal heaven god emperor could hear a dense heaviness that was far heavier than it was before in that distant voice, he furrowed his brows as he said, could it be that it has grown heavier yet again? This feeling of unease grows closer every day, however, this feeling does not come from myself but the eternal heaven pearl, sigh. The eternal heaven god emperor let out a heavy sigh as his deep worry ate away at his heart, just what exactly lies behind that crimson crack? to cause to even the eternal heaven pearl to feel fear, just what sort of calamity is it? Dot. The empty space remained silent for a long period of time. The eternal heaven god emperor gave a deep bow and prepared to leave. But it was at this moment, the voice which sounded as if it was coming from the ancient past once again rang out in the air, now that it reached this point, it is also time for me to tell you about that matter. The eternal heaven god emperor raised his head and asked, that matter? The first year that we discovered that crack in the wall of primal chaos, the eternal heaven pearl told me that it had sensed a very unique aura, and even though that aura was very weak and blurry, it had given it an extremely remote sense of familiarity. Familiarity, it caused the eternal heaven pearl to feel a sense of familiarity. The eternal heaven god emperor's eyebrows furrowed once again. Initially, the eternal heaven pearl was unable to confirm it but as the crack in the wall of primal chaos continued to grow, that sense of familiarity grew more and more intense and clear. It was intense enough that even though the eternal heaven pearl did not want to believe it, it had no choice but to. What exactly did it sense? The eternal heaven god emperor asked, every single word that had been spoken by the voice that rang in his ears contained a boundless heaviness. The ancient voice did not directly answer, instead it slowly said, in the ancient era of the gods, there were seven great heavenly profound treasures, the heaven punishing ancestral sword, the evil infant wheel of myriad tribulations, the primordial seal of life and death, the eternal heaven pearl, the sky poison pearl, the world piercer, and the mirror of samsara, four of these belonged to the god race the other two belonged to the devil race and the final one fell into the lower realms. The four heavenly profound treasures owned by the god race represented the four great creation gods, the heaven punishing divine emperor Moe had wielded the heaven punishing ancestral sword, the creation goddess of life Li Suo held the primordial seal of life and death, the creation god of order I controlled the eternal heaven pearl, and the other heavenly profound treasure, there, world piercer? Belonged to the creation god of the elements. The god who had eventually become known as the heretic god, there? World piercer? Possessed the highest level of dimensional power and it could pass through any space, within our ancient records, the divine profound darks which could step through space that were owned by the god race, they were artifacts that the creation god of the elements had imbued with the power of the world piercer. After his battle with the heaven punishing divine emperor Moe, the creation god of the elements abandoned his title and name as a creation god and he called himself the heretic god from then onwards, after that incident happened, there were no longer any legends or records concerning the world piercer appearing in the world anymore. During the evil infant calamity which had ended the era of the gods, the only god who could have escaped was the heretic god who possessed the world piercer yet he was also afflicted by the myriad tribulations poison and eventually died from it in the end, but now that I think about it, perhaps the world piercer had long since left his possession. The words the ancient voice said caused a shock that grew heavier and heavier to appear on the eternal heaven god emperor's face, ancestor, what you're implying, could it be that? That's correct. The originally deep and heavy voice turned even heavier. Accompanying the appearance of the crack in the wall of primal chaos was the aura of the world piercer. Dot. 
the eternal heaven god emperor's body shuddered violently at those words, after that, he froze for a long while before he gave heavy gasp and asked, why would the world piercer be outside of the primal chaos dimension, and just why would it cause the eternal heaven pearl to feel dread? It's very clear that even though the dimensional power of the world piercer is able to pierce through all space within the primal chaos dimension, it is not able to pierce through the wall of primal chaos, but it is extremely likely that it is able to open the dimension outside the primal chaos dimension. The eternal heaven god emperor was completely dazed upon hearing that and he did not understand the meaning of those words for a period of time. If that is true, then the race that should have perished outside of the primal chaos dimension all those years ago, it is very possible that they have relied on the dimension opened up by the world piercer to survive up to this point. The eternal heaven god emperor's brows furrowed yet again as he remained at a loss, but in the next instant, it was as if he had suddenly been struck by a bolt of lightning. His entire body convulsed as his complexion instantly turned as pale as a ghost, following that, his arms, legs, beard, and even his entire body started to tremble uncontrollably, could it, could it, could it be that? That, no, it's not possible, it's not possible that such an absurd thing could possibly happen. Perhaps no one would believe that the distinguished eternal heaven god emperor himself would actually be so shocked that all the color had drained from his face in a single instant. This is millions of times more terrifying than any previous guesses we have made, yet it is also the most likely one. Dot. The eternal heaven god emperor's complexion was already so white that it was frightening and he did not speak for a very long period of time. The eternal heaven pearl has told me that it no longer communicates with the world piercer, moreover, the time the world piercer's aura completely disappeared from this world also completely coincides with the time that race was expelled, the question is, just how exactly did the world piercer that belonged to the heretic god end up in the hands of that race, when that crimson crack completely ruptures, it will not only be a calamity that will erupt from that, it is also possible that it will expose ancient truths and resentments, it's just that in a weak world where gods no longer exist, there is no way we can endure these truths and resentments, right now, the only thing we can do is put in our greatest effort before praying that everything is merely a delusion that will not happen, the eternal heaven god emperor remained rooted in place, within that empty world, the only thing he could hear was the incredibly intense sound of his heart thumping. Chapter 1307, Kinai Uxuanian. Eastern Divine Region, Moon God Realm. After passing through both the Eastern and Western Divine Regions, after a long period of lonely isolation, Xia Kinayu had finally returned to the Moon God Realm. Upon viewing the Moon God Realm that was right in front of her eyes, her heart and mind were completely different from what they had been at any instant before this, she managed to pass the moon god realm's isolating barrier with no trouble at all and before she had ventured too far forward, two moon guards had discovered her aura, Xiaqinayu, two white lights suddenly flashed as the great moon guards had already appeared in front of Xiaqinayu, their strong and domineering auras squarely locking onto her, you still dare to return, just as their explosive shouts had left their mouths, a low and heavy voice rang out from behind them, withdraw, following the rippling of space, a gaunt man whose entire body was clad in golden armor appeared out of thin air, both of his eyes released a dense golden light that was hard for people to look directly into, and a powerful oppressive might that froze the air around him accompanied that golden glare, the moment he appeared, the two great moon guards felt their whole bodies go tense as they hurriedly bowed down, we greet the golden moon god. Golden moon god Uji looked at Xiaqinayu with a complex look in his eyes before he said in a calm voice, our king has been waiting for you for many days. Dot. Xiaqinayu did not say anything. She merely gave a faint nod of her head as she took to the air and stole past him, heading toward divine moon city. It was a huge and spacious great hall and even the gentle moonlight was unable to eradicate the cold loneliness of this place, at the end of the great hall, 
the moon god emperor was seated on the seat meant for the god emperor, his face expressionless. Xia Kinayu slowly strode forward and stopped in the heart of the great hall before she slowly knelt to the ground. Kinayu. The moon god emperor gave a cold and gloomy sigh, when you returned this time, weren't you afraid that I would kill you? Foster father won't kill me, she knelt on the ground and gloomily replied. Dot. The moon god emperor's face immediately twisted up. But he could not keep it up and his features relaxed as he said in a manner which seemed caught between crying and laughter, Kinayu, couldn't you have at least asked for forgiveness and made a display of obedience, this stubborn streak of yours is completely unlike your mother all those years ago. Dot. Xia Kinayu closed her beautiful eyes before she spoke softly, the debt of gratitude I owe to foster father is as deep as an ocean, yet Kinayu ended up harming foster father's reputation for the rest of his life, even though foster father definitely won't kill me, Kinayu. Also doesn't have the face to beg for foster father's forgiveness. The moon god emperor's brows furrowed before he let out an empathic sigh, if it was several decades ago, I might really have killed both you and that kid Yunshe in a fit of extreme rage but I still remember what happened all those years ago when I had become completely deranged and had lost all rationality, it took me years to recover, and I even did many things that in retrospect were completely cruel and insane. But you are not your mother, and the current me is different from the me in the past as well. This time, my rage lasted less than two hours before I regained my composure, the wedding that day, I had said it was for the future of the moon god realm but in actuality. It was still a preposterous move motivated by my disordered heart and selfish desires, furthermore, you were also bound by the debt of gratitude you felt that you owed me due to the past few years, so perhaps the appearance of that kid Yunshe was the will of heaven after all, so destroying all of those plans is fine as well, now that I've carefully thought it over for the past few days, if you had not made the choice that you had made that day. I, and especially your mother, on the contrary, may actually have been disappointed in you. Xia Kinayu raised her head, her gaze trembling, foster father. Hey hey! The moon god emperor shook his head, are you really shocked that I'd think this way, I'm pretty shocked myself as well, or perhaps. My time is really coming soon, so there is nothing I can't accept or figure out anymore. Foster father, you you don't need to say anything else. The moon god emperor waved his hand, his face composed, it's not that I totally believe the prophecy given by the heavenly mystery realm, rather, it is because a similar feeling has been coming more and more frequently to me during this period of time, and it has also been becoming more and more intense. Kinayu, if you truly want to make up for the guilt you feel towards me, and you want to repay the favor and grace that I have shown you over the past few years. The moon god emperor's chest rose and fell, his eyes solemn and heavy, inherit my divine power, the reason why I have done my utmost to be good to you over the past few years is because I want to have some peace of mind and a clear conscience when I transfer my divine power to you, I know that in the end this is something that I am imposing upon you, but, this is the only selfish desire that I cannot let go of. But the good thing is that after what happened at the wedding ceremony, you no longer need to, nor will you ever be able to, become the moon god emperor anymore, even though it is a great regret of mine, I think that it will be much easier for you to accept it now, so, I can feel more at peace with myself as well. Dot. Xia Kinayu did not reply. Tomorrow, I will announce to the public that I am taking you as my foster daughter. The moon god emperor had wanted to continue but after a moment of hesitance, his tone changed slightly and he said, go see your mother, she has been worrying constantly about you over the past few days, put her worries to rest first, we will talk about everything else again tomorrow. Yes, Xia Kinayu softly replied. After that she got to her feet and began to slowly walk away from the hall. Oh yes, what happened to Yun Shi? The moon god emperor suddenly asked, he did not enter the eternal heaven pearl and to this day, there hasn't been any other news about him. 
the eternal heaven realm must definitely be feeling deeply regretful that the situation has turned out the way it is. Xia Kinayu stood there quietly, she did not reply. The moon god emperor waved his hand, fine, fine, go quickly to see your mother then. But Xia Kinayu did not leave, instead she suddenly said, foster father, the words that you said to me on this day three years ago, I now truly understand them. I also suddenly understand that the true obstacle that prevented me from returning all these years has never been foster father at all, but it has been myself all along. After she finished speaking, she started walking once more and she quietly left the hall. The moon god emperor had been struck dumb by those words, confusion, and suspicion writ large on his face, but all of the sudden, his eyebrows jumped and he leapt to his feet an extremely rare expression of ecstatic joy and emotion on his face. Kinayu, if you have truly understood, then even if I die ten thousand times over, I will have no regrets. Dot. The small world where Waga resided had been a hidden secret all along, and very few people could approach it, as she drew near, the surroundings had become quiet and still. Xia Kinayu's footsteps were slow and heavy and no one could comprehend her current emotional state, from the moment she saw Yun Che again, her heart and soul had received consecutive impacts that were heavy enough to overturn her entire world. To choose, to abandon, to flee for one's life, to feel fear and terror, to feel absolutely helpless, to face death, to feel utter despair, and to receive hope. She felt a chill run through her entire body, and her footsteps came to a sudden stop at this moment, this was because a dreadful force that could not be resisted firmly latched onto her body, pressing down on her, at this moment, a woman's incomparably cold and icy voice rang in her ear, where is Yun Shi? Xia Kinayu was unable to turn around, her eyes darted to the side and she saw the corner of snow white skirt and several icy blue strands of hair, this definitely was not someone from the moon god realm, yet she could infiltrate the moon god realm without being detected. Who are you? Xia Kinayu asked instead. Answer my question, where is Yun Shi? The woman's voice grew even colder as an icy spear stretched out from behind Xia Kinayu and rested lightly against her throat. Dot. Xia Kinayu lapsed into a brief moment of silence before suddenly speaking. Ah. So you are Yun Che's master, senior Mugs Yuanian. The air immediately grew colder by several degrees. After several breaths of heavy silence, the icy spear that was pointed against Xia Kinayu's throat slowly melted away and the force which had locked her in place also disappeared. Xia Kinayu turned around, her eyes coming to rest on an icy face that was so beautiful that it caused the very heavens and earth to lose their color. She was wearing snowy robes that looked similar to what Yun Che was wearing that day, and her extremely beautiful face seemed to be covered in a layer of ice and icy might which froze any emotion on her face. Xia Kinayu made a small curtsy as she said, Junior Xia Kinayu greets Senior Mu. A strange light flashed in her eyes as she raised her eyes once more, she had never thought that Snow Song Realm's Realm King, Yun Che's master, would actually be such a beauty. How did you guess that it was me? Mugs Yuanian's icy eyes stared at Xia Kinayu up close as she coldly asked. Xia Kinayu answered, Yan Che mentioned to me before that Senior Mu was his greatest benefactor in the God Realm, even though she looks cold and emotionless, she had always looked out for him in every way. Furthermore, you have taken such a huge risk in infiltrating the Moon God Realm just to ask about his whereabouts. Moreover, your profound strength is extremely high and your profound energy is extremely cold. Yan Che has only been in the Eastern Divine Region for a few short years, so the only one who meets all those requirements would be Senior Mu, she continued. Furthermore, the person who appeared outside the God Realm of Absolute Beginning was also Senior Mu, correct? Dot. Mugs Yuanian's icy eyebrows twitched faintly. To be able to enter the moon god realm without being detected, with this kind of strength, it is natural that you would be able to hold off the grey robed man at Gain Yinger's side, 
It looks like this vast eastern divine region has been incredibly mistaken about senior Mu's actual strength. Mu Xuanian's icy brows narrowed slightly as she stared steadily at Xiaokinayu for a good while. Xiaokinayu did not try to dodge the icy and terrifying gaze that rested upon on her, on the contrary, she actually looked straight at those eyes which radiated an icy blue light, Senior, please do not worry. This junior knows what should be said and what shouldn't be said. Mugzuanian did not refute her but she also did not make any small talk, instead she icily asked once again, answer my question, where is Yun Shi? why is it that you came back by yourself? He is in the dragon god realm, Xiaokinayu said. Why did you leave him in the dragon god realm? Qian Ying Er inflicted him with the Brahma soul death wishing mark. Dot 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 what? Mugzuanian's expression drastically changed, and her aura, which had originally been extremely stable, had now started violently fluctuate. Senior, please don't worry, the reason he was left in the dragon god realm is because there is someone in the dragon god realm who is helping him get rid of the Brahma soul death wishing mark. As she saw the change in Mugzuanian's demeanor, Xiaokinayu felt a needle of unhappiness and discontent prick her heart. After taking everything into account, Yan Che had only been in the Snow Song realm for three years, yet he actually caused the Snow Song realm king, who was possessed of both surpassing beauty and strength, to worry for him to such an extent. Were they really just student and teacher? It's not possible. The cold light in Mugzuanian's eyes wavered as she was unable to keep her icy face composed. If he was truly afflicted by the Brahma soul death wishing mark, then other than Kian Yinga, no one else can get rid of it, just who exactly? All of the sudden, her icy brows jumped and she thought of someone. Do you mean? Shinsai, Xiaokinayu softly said those two words. Dot. Mugzuanian's icy eyes had always been trained on Xiaokinayu, yet she discovered that Xiaokinayu had been incredibly calm from start to finish despite being pressured by her oppressive might, furthermore, a girl her age shouldn't possess such composure, she was so composed that it was eerie, on the contrary. She did not know if she was mistaken, but she actually seemed to feel a faint oppressive feeling which did not seem to fade in and out of existence. Coming from Xiaokinayu's body? Can she truly purge the Brahma soul death wishing mark? And why did she let Yunche stay behind? Mugzuanian asked, it was indeed a distinct possibility that Shinzai could indeed get rid of the Brahma soul death wishing mark but she resided in the forbidden land of Samsara, and had never allowed any living creature to come near that place, much less step into it, however. She could not detect any deception or lies coming from Xiaokinayu's body. Senior Shinzai said herself that she could get rid of the Brahma soul death wishing mark, and it will also only take about fifty years, Xiaokinayu said in that gentle and calm voice, as for why she accepted Yan Che, it is the fruit of the good karma he previously earned with his actions. It is indeed an extremely regretful thing for him to be unable to enter the eternal heaven divine realm. But for Yun Shi, to be able to remain at Senior Shinzai's side while getting rid of his Brahma soul death wishing mark, isn't it simply another extremely rare opportunity for him? Thus, I hope Senior Mu can be at ease for now, at least for the next fifty years, he will be absolutely safe. Mugzuanian's disordered aura slowly started to regain its composure at this moment, indeed. Being accepted by Shenzai was indeed an extremely great opportunity for Yan Che, even though the short-term gains could not be compared to the three thousand years spent in the Eternal Heaven Pearl, the long-term gains would definitely outstrip those three thousand years. Because it was Shenzai. The most unique existence in the entire God Realm. Though he needed to first gain Shenzai's favor. But, Although it was rumored that Shinzai was extremely gentle and graceful, behind that gentleness and grace lay an unyielding emotionlessness, it was as if she was an extremely indifferent person, someone who seemed to not have been born with all the desires and emotions that a normal person was born with. This kind of person, could he truly gain her favor? Even just a little bit of it? Chapter 1308, Transformation
After she obtained the answer she wanted, Mugzuanian's heart, which had been teetering on the edge for a long time, finally started to relax, she did not say another word, and her gaze shifted away from Xiaqinayu's body, after that, her figure slowly melted into the empty air, her aura disappearing as well. Fifty years, could he truly wait for fifty years? Xiaqinayu made a light curtsy to the place where she had been standing before turning around and leaving. Since Shenzai made an exception for Yan Che and allowed him to stay, whether it was to keep a secret or due to the heart of glazed glass in your body, there was no reason not to ask you to stay as well. Mugzuanian's cold and clear voice suddenly rang out once again behind Xiaqinayu, why did you give up this opportunity that other people would never even be able to beg for? Rather, you decided to return to a place where you've been judged completely guilty? Xiaqinayu's footsteps halted and she gave a gloomy reply, the moon god emperor is someone to whom I owe a great debt of gratitude for saving my life, and for grooming me up to be his successor. He is also the person who is responsible for saving my mother's life, heart, and soul, yet I have never repaid for him and I grievously wounded his reputation instead if I just walk away from him. How can I have any face to continue existing in this world anymore? Mugzuanian furrowed her eyebrows slightly comma dot 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 your mother? Wagu, in front of this woman who did not hesitate to infiltrate the moon god realm for Yan Che's sake, Xiaqinayu frankly spoke about this secret. Dot. Mugzuanian's gaze shook in that instant but she did not feel too much shock upon hearing those words. On the contrary, she felt a sort of relief wash over her, no wonder she had the heart of glazed glass, it was actually all because she had been birthed by the stainless divine body. Moreover, what can I accomplish by staying in that place? Xiaqinayu said with a soft sigh filled with emotion, after leaving that place with him fifty years later, we would have no choice but to continue to hide, run, and forever be under the protection of you and others like you we'd have no choice but to live desperately every single day while trembling in fear. Mugzuanian's brows deeply furrowed, what are you trying to say? Xiaqinayu turned around, once again meeting her icy eyes, Kian Yinger already knows the greatest secret about Yan Che's body, because of that, she did not hesitate to inflict the Brahma soul death wishing mark on him, while he is in the forbidden land of Samsara for the next fifty years. Kian Yinge won't be able to touch him. But what's going to happen in fifty years, do you think that Kian Yinge will stop then? Mugzuanian coldly replied, she won't. You are his master, someone who shows the utmost care and concern for him, since that's the case, do you dare to kill Kian Yinge and rid him of this danger forever? Xiaqinayu asked. Dot. Mugzuanian's icy eyes focused slightly. I don't dare to and I can't kill her anyways. Right, you don't dare to. Xiaqinayu gave a light shake of her head. My mother was not harmed by the star god realm all those years ago. She was harmed by Kian Yinge, yet the moon god emperor dared to vent his wrath against the star god realm, but he chose to endure it when confronted with the real truth. Everyone under heaven knows that the star god emperor's son, the heavenly wolf star god Xesu, died because of Kian Yinge, yet the star god emperor also chose to endure this. All of you don't dare to do anything, and as strong as all of you are, not a single one of you have dared to make a move against Kian Yinge, thus. In fifty years, the Yanche and I who have been targeted by Kian Yinge will still only be able to hide, flee, endure, and forever live under her dark shadow, to never be able to attain true peace and security. Until we one day fall completely into her hands, all our previous grievances and hatred will also never be paid back to her. Dot. Mugzuanian did not refute her words, nor was she able to. During those few days that I spent with Yan Shi, I experienced many moments of helplessness, the helplessness I felt when I had to make a choice, the helplessness I felt when I abandoned something, the helplessness I felt in the face of absolute power the helplessness I felt when I was facing death, the helplessness I felt when I was being humiliated, the helplessness I felt when I came face to face with the Brahma soul death wishing mark, 
Even more than that, it reminded me of the helplessness I felt when I was confronted by the calamity that struck my sect all those years ago, and the helplessness that I felt when I was unable to return home from the God realm. I've already come to hate this kind of feeling. Just what exactly are you trying to say? Mugzuanian asked. Xia Kinayu raised her head to the sky and closed her eyes before she spoke in slow and measured tones. Back then, the moon god emperor told me that my possession of both the heart of glazed glass and the nine profound exquisite body was a divine miracle unheard of and unprecedented in the entire history of the god realm, even the eternal heaven ancestor back in the day was not my equal, yet, I just so happened to lack the one thing that matched my natural gifts. The most important thing in fact. Ambition. Mugzuanian. She looked at Mugzuanian before suddenly asking, Senior Mu, compared to me, Yan Che, who inherited the divine power of a creation god, is even more suited to be called a divine miracle that has been gifted to us by the heavens, and the nine stage lightning tribulation is the greatest proof of this, then, in Senior's eyes, what is the one thing that he happens to lack the most? Ambition, Mugzuanian replied without any hesitation. As long as one was an outstanding talent, who would not want their names to be known far and wide, who would not want to establish their own schools or sects, who would not want to look down proudly upon the rest of the world, even when one reached the level of the king realms, they were all still desperately chasing after and searching for that illusory and vague divine way. Yan Che's aptitude could only be described as monstrous and he possessed the sole creation god inheritance in the universe, yet he did not have a shred of that kind of ambition. His growth was exceedingly fast, but in the eyes of other profound practitioners, the reason for his desperate growth was so simplistic and pure that it was patently absurd, no one would believe that he had no interest whatsoever in the four words conferred god number one if it was not for the sake of meeting Jasmine. Even his arrival in the God realm was motivated by something completely different from pursuing even higher levels of the divine way, he had come here just to meet with Jasmine. That's right. Xia Kinayu nodded as she gave a soft sigh, he is the one person that has the most qualifications to be ambitious, the one person who should possess such ambition, yet it just so happens that the one thing that he lacks is this ambition. The things that he cares about the most have always been his family and his women, ambition. He never had it in the past and perhaps he will never have in the future either, and since he won't have it, then I need to have it. You've said all these things, but what exactly are you going to do? Mugzuanian's icy eyes grew focused yet again, the oppressive feeling rolling off of Xia Kinayu's body was becoming more and more clear. She definitely had not been mistaken about it. Xia Kinayu's profound strength was only at the first level of the divine spirit realm, yet she could make Mugzuanian feel pressure, this was something that transcended all logic. Since none of you dare to, will not and cannot kill Kian Yinga, then it's up to me to do it. Xia Kinayu said those words in a very soft and gentle voice, as if she was merely talking about an ordinary, everyday thing. The heavens gifted me with the heart of glazed glass and the nine profound exquisite body, then I will follow the will of the heavens and do something that a person of divine miracles ought to do, even if I have to put my life on the line, even if I have to be unscrupulous, I will not allow him or myself to be forced to live under her dark shadow. Dot 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 you want to kill, Kian Yu, Mugzuanian coldly said, what basis do you have to say such a thing? It isn't about having any basis or right to say such a thing, it is because I have no other choice. You're taking this far too lightly. Mugzuanian gave her a deep look, the reason why Kian Yinga is so dreadful isn't because of herself alone, she has the Brahma monarch god realm behind her, she has countless admirers in the eastern, western and southern divine regions and just a single word from her would cause countless strong individuals to go crazy for her or even rush to their deaths. I know, Xia Kinayu said softly, so, if I am defeated or killed, I will have to trouble Senior Mu to fetch him from the forbidden land of Samsara fifty years from now and advise him to stay in the dragon god realm. Oh yes, Xia Kinayu continued. 
I have already severed all ties with him, so we are no longer husband and wife, and he and I have nothing to do with one another another, so everything that I do from this day forward, whether it goes well or does not, whether it results in fortune or disaster, whether it is righteous or evil, whether I am dead or alive, it has nothing to do with him, I can also assure senior that whatever unscrupulous things I do in the future will definitely not involve senior Mew or the snow song realm, if in the future, I am fortunate enough to be able to create a big enough opportunity, I would also trouble senior Mew to send him back to the world that he wishes to return to, in the end, he really doesn't belong here, while I can no longer return. After bowing heavily towards Mugs Yuanian, Xia Kinayu turned around and left, her slow and plodding footsteps gradually carried her out of Mugs Yuanian's sight. Those footsteps had been extremely heavy, as if they were weighted down by extremely heavy shackles, as if she was resolutely walking towards an endless abyss. Mugs Yuanian stood there silently, her icy brows knit tight, surging waves crashing around in her heart. On the day of the wedding ceremony in the moon god realm, she had hidden herself in the air above and had seen Xia Kinayu once from afar. At that time, Xia Kinayu's eyes had been cold and lifeless, and it was as if she was trapped in endless days. To the point where it seemed completely empty and vacant, as if she was trapped in a dream she had not woken up from. But today's Xia Kinayu was practically a different person from the Xia Kinayu she had seen previously. When a person received consecutive violent blows, it could indeed cause a person's heart and mentality to change within a short period of time, to the point where it could completely transform a person. But if Xia Kinayu had transformed, it had really been far too drastic. Furthermore, that subtle oppressive feeling that she felt in her soul was definitely not something a transformation could bring about. Is she serious about this? Mugzuanian muttered softly to herself, she was shocked at her own reaction, because the words that Xia Kinayu said, the words that tumbled from the lips of a girl who was not even thirty years of age, a girl whose profound strength had only reached the divine spirit realm, they should have been something completely absurd and ridiculous. This was the moon god realm, an extremely dangerous place, and Mugzuanian was unable to linger for too long. Her figure and aura once again melted away into the air, and she did not leave a single trace behind. As she left the moon god realm and soared through the vast and empty ether, Mugzuanian's figure reappeared, and she quietly looked towards the west. After a long while, she let out a soft sigh before saying, Chaya, the fruits of what happened today, have you ever regretted coming to the god realm? Dash. Western Divine Region Dragon God Realm, Forbidden Land of Samsara. Yanche sat on the ground with both of his eyes closed as the golden markings flashed on his body. Shinzai quietly stood in front of him still shrouded in that white light, her celestial figure hazy, following the downward movement of her jade finger. A cluster of white light slowly floated above Yanche's body before completely merging into him. Following the merging of that white light into his body, the golden markings on his body disappeared as well. Yanche stood up and just as he was about to bow unconsciously, he immediately stopped himself as he remembered that she disliked ceremony, instead he got to his feet once more and said in a grateful voice, I thank senior Shenzai, there's no need for that. After she softly said those indifferent words, Shenzai turned around and left. She spent nearly all her time quietly cultivating every single day. The only time Yan Che could see her was during that short period that she needed to help him suppress the Brahma's soul death wishing mark, however, she did not immediately leave this time around, instead she spoke in a soft voice, your heart has been full of chaos, this does not help you at all in dispelling the Brahma soul death wishing mark, yes, this junior will do all he can to adjust, Yan Che said as he gave a long sigh in his heart, fifty years. 50 years. I can be at peace my ass. There was less than two years left to the day that he had told the little demon empress and the others he would return by. However, he had become targeted by Kian Yinger and given her fearsomeness, as long as she did not die, even if he left this place 50 years from now, 
he still would not be able to return, this place could be said to be the purest, safest and most tranquil place in the entire god realm, but Yun Che's heart and mind often wandered and there was simply no way he could settle down, for the past few days, Shen Zai had been able to sense that Yun Che's emotions had not stabilized at all, she suddenly said, if you want to get rid of the Brahma soul death wishing mark, there is a way, Yun Che was stunned by those words, what method? This method requires that the Brahma soul death wishing mark be suppressed to a certain degree before it can be realized, right now is not the right time for it, Shen Zai said in a gentle voice, once the opportunity arises, I will naturally let you know. To Yun Che, that was undoubtedly a huge piece of great news. He anxiously said, if it can be like this, then that's simply fantastic, I thank senior Shen Zai. Dot 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 go and comfort Linga for a bit, the impact she received was far too big and only you can save her now. Shinzai started walking forward again, as her celestial figure slowly faded and vanished into thin air like a gloomy mist. Her words had caused Yun Che to become dumbfounded, save? Why did she use the word save? Chapter 1309, A Vengeful Heart. When one mentions a forbidden ground, people would inevitably think of a place often filled with death and sinister danger, however this forbidden land of samsara was an absolutely beautiful celestial land that even someone who had lived for tens of thousands of years would not be able to dream up, every single plant and flower in this place was filled with extraordinary life energy and spirit energy, the wood spirit girl quietly sat amidst the rainbow sea of multifarious flowers, her beautiful eyes listlessly staring into the distance, once she sat down, it would be for the entire day and sometimes she would not even react to Shenzai's soft summons, during this period, this had been her daily routine, after she had heard the cruel truth from Yun Che that day, it was as if her heart and soul had fallen into a bottomless abyss that she could not escape from, Yun Che walked to the side of the wood spirit girl, but she made no reaction, a light breeze blew north, but the surrounding flowers and plants still bent towards the wood spirit girl, as they softly and gently soothed and comforted her battered and broken heart. Yan Che sat down rather forcefully and he very nearly squashed his body against He Ling as he sat down by her side. He Ling finally made a reaction when their bodies touched, as her listless eyes unconsciously whirled towards him, but Yan Che instead looked into the distance, the same space which he had been staring listless in into just moments before, he did not say anything to console her but he suddenly gave a deep empathic sigh, this world is truly a mysterious one for it to actually have someone like senior Shenzai in it, every time I look at her, I get seized by a feeling that this is all an illusion, the kind of feeling you get when you're faced with a heavenly celestial maiden. Yan Che's words and arrival caused He Ling to regain some of her clarity, she softly replied, Master was originally a celestial maiden anyways, Yan Che looked at her from the side and discovered that when she spoke, her eyes were listless and devoid of any vigor, in the short span of a few days, that pair of beautiful eyes, which had looked like jade stars to him when he had first laid eyes upon them, had become so dull and jaded that they made it hard for one to breathe. I not only owe senior Shenzai a debt of gratitude for saving my life, but she was also able to see through all the worries in my heart and she took the initiative to ease those worries, has senior Shenzai always been such a warm and gentle soul? He said with a faint smile, Amen, He Ling gave a nod of her delicate head, Master is not only a celestial maiden but she is also this world's most beautiful, most kind and most gentle celestial maiden. Ah? Yan Che said with a look of shock on his face, you've seen senior Shen Zai's true appearance? Amen. He Ling's dainty head bobbed up and down once again, her voice still very soft, but, you can't see it. Eh? Why not? Because. He Ling's eyes finally regained a bit of life and color. But they still looked hazy to the point where it seemed as if she teetered on the edge of intoxication, if you gazed upon master's true face, then this world would lose all of its color in your eyes. Dot. Those words completely stunned Yun Che. From many years ago, 
Master stopped allowing any man to see her true face so it has been extremely long since any man was fortunate enough to gaze upon Master's appearance, even if you want to see it, Master won't allow you to, but if you are really fortunate enough to gaze upon it. Her tone and her gaze grew hazy or as she continued, then it just might be that you won't be willing to spare me another look after that. Yan Che laughed as he shook his head, ha ha, how is that possible? When He Lin spoke to me about you for the first time, he told me that you were the most beautiful big sister in the whole wide world, and at that time, I didn't really believe him. But after I met you, I discovered that there was actually such a beautiful girl in this world. He Ling looked at him before giving a tinkling laugh, the big sister that sent you here the other day, she was better looking than me. Eh, hey, is that so? Yan Che said innocently. He Ling glanced to the side, gazing into the distance, I know that you are trying to console me, sorry. That I caused you and master to worry about me, I'll be fine, it's just that. It's just that. In front of Yan Che, she had worked so hard to look fine so as to not let him worry over her, but, before she could finish speaking, her body and soul starting shuddering violently once again, and she could not stop it no matter what she tried, I just can't understand, what evil or wrong did our wood spirit race actually commit? For even the heavens themselves treat us like this, just what exactly did we do that was wrong? She hugged her shoulders with both arms as she started to curl up into a tight ball. Your race didn't do anything wrong, none of you have ever done anything wrong, Yan Che softly consoled her, but he knew that his own words of comforts were extremely pale. Her delicate head was pressed between her knees as she softly said in a melancholic voice, Ever since I was young, royal father and mother told me that us wood spirits were a race that was protected by nature, as long as we were gentle, loving, and kind to everything and everyone, destiny would always take care of us in the end. As the memories of his short stay in the wood spirit's secret realm flooded his mind, he gave a gloomy sigh in his heart. Your wood spirit race is the most beautiful and kind race I have ever seen, even though all of you have been through far too much injustice and hardship, in the future, I also firmly believe what your royal father and mother said, in the future, destiny will definitely take care of you and pay you back manifold for what your race has been through, hey! She shook her head very vigorously, that light gasp of hers seemed to be a laugh but it was a laugh that was filled with incredible bleakness and pain. The future, our wood spirit race. What future do we have? Yan Che instantly found it hard to breathe. The royal father and mother who told me those words are already dead. They used their lives to protect me, yet I could not even protect my own kinsmen, could not even protect Lina. The only survivor of the wood spirit royal family is me, a useless woman. It's already been completely destroyed, there is no future anymore, all of my kinsmen, all of the important members of my race. All of them are dead. Future. The future, she muttered to herself, each word boring a hole through the heart. Yan Che's brows jumped and he suddenly discovered that he had completely misdiagnosed He Ling's condition, it was much worse than even he had anticipated. The bloodline of the royal family had been cut off her kinsmen were no longer in this world, she was left all by herself, and her heart was still plagued by the guilt and self-recrimination she felt because of Helin's death and the severance of their bloodline, the beliefs that they had held on to dearly had led to the most tragic and miserable ending, the hope and expectations that they had always believed and harbored in their hearts, had been completely destroyed, morphing into the darkest and gloomiest despair. Fate had truly been far too cruel to the wood spirit race. Even after he thought about it for a long time, he was not able to think of the right words to comfort her. Instead, Yan Che patted He Ling's shoulders while giving her a small smile. He Ling, at the very least, the wood spirit royal family did not truly die out. You are the last descendant of the wood spirit royal line, and even though you are a woman, the children you bear in the future will also have the blood of the wood spirit royal family running in their veins, so you need to live on and live well as the last remaining hope of the wood spirit royal family.
After that, you need to guide your entire race and wait for the day that destiny's protection is bestowed upon you all. Destiny, protection. She softly muttered, I already. Won't believe in such things ever again. Yun Shi. She raised her delicate head up from between her knees, there were no tears in her eyes, there was just a dark gloom that would not fade away. She looked at Yun Che, looked at him for a long time before softly speaking with misty eyes, can you call me big sister once? Yun Che had also been steadily looking at her, but he shook his head after that, I am not He Lin, he is already dead. He Ling's eyes closed as she spoke in a voice filled with pain. Are you so unwilling to give me just this little bit of illusion? Yan Che's eyes were gentle and deep, perhaps you won't believe me, but I was once exactly the same as you are, and I had also been left with nothing. Including all of my hopes and dreams, so, I can understand your current feelings and emotions, and I also understand all too well that the only thing this sort of illusion brings is a temporary sense of comfort but after that, it will lead to an even more intense pain. He Ling's gaze turned away from him and she once again buried her delicate head between her knees. As he had been through a similar experience, Yan Che was indeed well aware of what He Ling's current mental state and heart were like, it was just that she was not only a pure and stainless wood spirit, she was also just a young girl, so she was naturally far less resolute and strong than he had been at that time. After a long period of silence, Yan Che opened his mouth yet again, He Ling, even though I am not He Lin, from now on, I will be like He Lin and be part of your family. He Ling. Even though I don't know what I can help you accomplish, at the very least, I will never ever harm you, in front of me, you can cry to your heart's content and if there is anything you want to say, you can tell it all to me. The current He Ling was undoubtedly in the worst of conditions so he hoped that his words would be able to allow her to let down her guard and vent everything that she was holding in her heart. Even if it was just a little bit right now, but He Ling still did not give any response. Yan Che pondered the situation for a long time and just as he was about to say something, He Ling suddenly said something in a soft voice, her tone was very calm and cool, but the words that came out of her mouth were words that Yan Che had not expected at all. I want revenge. Yan Che's brows furrowed violently as an indescribably strong shock and disbelief jilted his heart. If one had lost all their kinsmen and had witnessed their entire race wither up and be scattered to the wind, it would be the most normal thing to feel the need for vengeance well up crazily on one's heart. But she was healing, she was a wood spirit, a wood spirit's body was filled with pure life energy and they had an extreme degree of intimacy with nature. Their bodies, hearts and souls were all extremely pure, and they felt an extreme and natural repulsion towards anything that was wicked or evil, it was even less likely that they would be stained in fresh blood or involved in slaughter. Even if it was the most common plant or flower, they would still be unwilling to tread on it. These were the living creatures that were least likely to have the word revenge appear in their hearts and minds, in fact, one could go so far as to say they were the only creatures in the world that should never ever harbor this notion in their hearts. When He Lin had knelt in front of him and wept while begging Yan Che to take him as his student, it was also merely to protect his clansmen and to find his big sister, there was never a hint of vengeance involved in it. But he had very clearly heard the words I want revenge from He Ling's mouth and she had even managed to say it in such a calm and controlled manner. This kind of calm and control signified that it was not just a flash of emotion, rather, this notion had started percolating in her head for the past few days. He Ling slowly raised her head to look at the stupefied Yan Che, the dark and gloomy light in her eyes grew even more dense and those beautiful eyes, that had originally been as green as jade, had now turned a grayish green, a color that had perhaps never appeared in another wood spirit's eyes before. Did Lina and the rest tell you who was the one who forced our entire race into desperate straits after causing the deaths of my royal father and mother? Dot. Yan Che shook his head, I don't know. Yan Che's brief moment of hesitance caused He Ling's eyes to violently ripple instead, in the next instant, 
she reached out a hand to grab Yan Che by the arm, you know who it is, right, tell me, tell me, exactly who was the culprit, Yan Che shook his head yet again, I really don't know, moreover, they also had no reason to tell an outsider like me about such a thing, in actuality, when he had stayed in the wood spirit's secret realm, King Mu, who had given him a wood spirit orb, had told him that the people who had killed He Lin and He Ling's parents and forced their entire race into truly desperate straits had been the Brahma monarch god realm. This was a name that she could never truly take revenge on, so he was definitely not going to tell such a thing to He Ling at this point of time, because the reality of the situation was far too cruel and it would only cause her to fall into an even deeper despair. No, you definitely know, you definitely know. He did not know if she truly thought that he knew the answer or if she was merely grasping at the last straw that she had left, tell me, please tell me, please, He Ling. Yan Che grabbed He Ling's shoulder as he said with knitted brows, just listen to me, tell her, she has the right to know. A voice that was light and gentle as a floating cloud suddenly rang out behind Yan Che. Shen Zai quietly stood at a place not too far away from them but Yan Che had not sensed her arrival, nor did he know when she had come, perhaps, she had already heard everything that he and He Ling had said, Master, He Ling softly muttered, she remained listless and despondent even in front of Shen Zai. His heart cried out in opposition, but Shen Zai's gentle words carried with them a magic that no one could resist, Yan Che sucked in a small breath before speaking in the place where He Lin and the rest were taking refuge, Senior King Mu told me that the people who had pursued all of you in the past, had come from the Brahma monarch god realm, Shen Zai, dot. He Ling's lips parted and froze in place, no matter how little she was aware of the world, she should also know what kind of existence the Brahma monarch god realm was, the head of the four king realms in the eastern divine region a king realm that possessed enough strength to be ranked among the top three king realms in the entire god realm. But besides that, senior king Mu did not tell me who it was from the Brahma monarch god realm, Yan Che said with a sigh, even though, I don't really understand why senior king Mu was willing to tell an outsider like me these things, I believe that he was not lying. Brahma, monarch, god, realm. He Ling softly muttered to herself with closed eyes, her entire body was shivering as she said those words. Because he was practically squashed against He Ling's body, Yan Che could clearly feel her heart and soul rapidly sinking. Sinking into a bottomless abyss of despair. He Ling. Yan Che's heart tensed up and he already regretted telling her this truth. Ling'a. Shen Zai's gentle voice rang out softly, if you truly want revenge, then there is one person who can help you. And in this world, he is the only person who can help you. Those gloomy beautiful eyes opened in the next instant, Yan Che was also incredibly stunned by those words and he involuntarily asked, who, in this world, who had the strength and the guts to take revenge on the Brahma monarch god realm, and who would actually help a wood spirit take revenge against an existence like the Brahma monarch god realm. What was even more inexplicable was this, Shen Zai was like a celestial being that had been banished from the heavens, someone who never involved herself in worldly affairs, so why would such a person say such things to He Ling, she actually clearly seemed to be encouraging and instructing He Ling on how to take revenge? Chapter 1310, That Man He Ling knelt on her knees and kowtowed before Shen Zai deeply, Master. Please. Share your guidance with me, He Ling, Shen Zai sighed softly, three years ago you were as alone as a flying duckweed, but hatred had never touched you, so why is it that you're suddenly filled with hatred? That's because. He Ling replied wretchedly, I still had hope and delusions back then, but now. Everyone who told me not to hate, to not give up on hope. Are dead, now. Hate is the only thing I have left. Yan Che. Will you take revenge, knowing that your worst enemy is the Brahma monarch god realm? Shen Zai asked. He Ling slowly got up to her feet and stared at Shen Zai with eyes filled with help and darkness, Master, 
Is there really someone who can help me? Bathed in divine light, Shamsai nodded slightly. The Brahma monarch god realm is the strongest king realm there is in the eastern divine region, the depth of its roots and the immensity of its strength span far beyond your imagination, and no one has ever dared to provoke its wrath for the past millions of years. But there is one person who has the potential to unsettle the Brahma monarch god realm, and it so happens that he also has an undying grudge towards them that can only be resolved with death. If you will not change your mind, then it is my advice that you seek out his aid, also, his chances of unsettling the Brahma monarch god realm will be much higher if you lend him your strength. Yanshe? Who is she talking about? Unsettle the Brahma monarch god realm? Does a person like this really exist in this world? He Ling couldn't understand what Shinzai meant by his chances of unsettling the Brahma monarch god realm will be much higher if you lend him your strength. If the same line had come out of anyone else's mouth, literally no one would have believed it in the slightest. He link out out once more, please, tell me master, how do I find him? Chen Zai didn't answer her directly, in a quiet voice she said, you should know that you'll pay a terrible price for this. I know. He Ling didn't hesitate at all, she knew very well that price was hardly an adequate word to describe what it would take to take revenge against the Brahma monarch god realm, if I can take revenge, my wood spirit orb, my pride, my life, I can give up anything and everything. He Ling's assessment of herself was perfectly accurate, after losing all of her hope, belief, and even the future, she had nothing left but a well of hatred that grew like wild grass. You have fallen into the abyss, and you have also lost sight of yourself, therefore, I won't tell you his identity right now. Shinzai walked forwards and pulled He Ling up to her feet gently, you have one month, I want you to calm yourself down as best you can and consider what you really want to do in the future when your mind is at its clearest. If a month from now, your thirst for vengeance hasn't vanished, then I will tell you the identity of your helper, I will even bring him to you personally. Yan Shi? She was Shen Zai, her word was her bond. Yes. He Ling didn't ask any further, finally, tears started dwelling inside her pupils, He Ling must have disappointed you, master, He Ling will never forget about your great kindness. No matter what happens in the future. Shen Zai shook her head slightly, you have not disappointed me, I am the one who promised to find your younger brother back then. I'm the one who has disappointed you. He Ling shook her head firmly, her tears finally slid off the corner of her eyes. Chen Zai extended a hand and wiped away the tears on He Ling's cheeks softly, you haven't slept for a very long time, He Ling, you should go sleep now, only with a clear mind will you know where your true desire lies. Yes, He Ling will obey the mistress. When Yun Che had tried to console He Ling, he had failed to provoke anything but empty, mechanical replies from He Ling, but Shen Sai, with her inexplicable and even ill-advised words, had somehow recalled He Ling's soul back into her body, and brought tears to her eyes. He Ling went away after that, it was true that she hadn't had any sleep for a very, very long time. Senior Shen Sai. Yan Che immediately voiced his doubts after He Ling's departure, the promise you gave He Ling. Do you truly wish for her to claim vengeance, or do you have something else in mind? What do you think? She threw the question back at him. Yan Che didn't hesitate in his answer, I can't see any reason why you would encourage her to take revenge, Senior Shen Zai, therefore, I believe you've probably predicted that she would give up her desire for revenge a month later, she is, after all, a wood spirit. No. Shen Zai said, she will not give up on her desire for revenge, on the contrary, her fixation will become stronger than ever before, precisely because she is a wood spirit. But why? Yan Che did not understand. Shen Zai looked at Yan Che before explaining, if we are to compare a person's heart to a piece of land, then yours will look like a land of green leaves, lush flowers, wilted grass, ancient trees, thistles and thorns and poisonous vines. If someone were to plant a seed of darkness in this land, it will only be normalized by its surroundings after it grew, 
the possibility that it will change the landscape drastically is little. Yan Che, but He Ling's heart began as a pure land with nothing but lush greens and flowers. If someone were to plant a seed of darkness in a land like this, and give it the opportunity to take root, then it would grow swiftly and devour all of the greens, the flowers, and even the land itself in no time at all. Everything would become dyed in darkness, and nothing could stop or reverse its transformation. If she was purely good at the beginning, then she will become purely evil in the end. Dot. Yan Che looked shaken, he understood Shin's eye completely at this point, in fact, he had experienced the same thing himself, since his life on Azure Cloud Continent, he already knew that the evil and hatred squeezed out of an formerly good person were usually worse than that of a born devil. Given the right circumstances, the purity of one's good could easily be the purity of one's evil. So, you were actually serious when you said those words? Yes, my encouragement for her to take revenge and the man I said could help her, they are all true. Shinzai's voice was devoid of worry and perfectly calm as usual, at the very least, she will have a hope and a goal, they will keep her from spending an eternity in the abyss. Dot. Yan Che was silent for a very long time. His heart was in great turmoil. He had finally met He Lin's sister, and he had barely completed He Lin's final wish, but what came out of it was nothing either He Lin or him had wished to see. It shouldn't have turned out like this. Shen Zai turned away and was about to leave, but Yan Che shot her one final question Senior Shen Zai, can you tell me who is that person who can take revenge for He Lin? Can he really unsettle the Brahma monarch god realm? Is he a realm king from a king realm? You will know the answer in a month's time. In the meantime, you should accompany He Ling during this time and learn the spirit flora of this place. You have the sky poison pearl, so the knowledge will definitely be useful to you. Her melodious voice reached him, but Shenzai herself had already vanished before him. Yes. Yan Che replied and turned around but an unexpected thought suddenly gave him pause. How? Did she know that I have the sky poison pearl? Dash. A month passed by in no particular hurry. This might be the most peaceful period Yan Che had ever had since he came to the god realm. There were no dangers, no fights, no need to cultivate or tiptoe every step of the way. Every day, he would bathe in the purest air and spirit energy and accept Shinzai's power to suppress the death-wishing mark, when he was free, he would study the spirit flora of this place from He Ling, who patiently explained to him everything he wanted to know. Recently, He Ling seemed to have returned to her old self. Her eyes were clear, her smiles were infrequent but present, and she had never brought up the word revenge again since that day. But the more He Ling acted normal, the more worried Yan Che only became, every day, his realization that Shinzai was correct only deepened more and more. The Brahma's soul death wishing mark had triggered a couple of times during the month, and it was still as painful as ever, but now he could chat and laugh with He Ling amidst the flowers and not bat an eye, this pain was nothing compared to when the Brahma's soul death wishing mark was fully active. However, Yan Che never stopped doubting his future while he was still plagued with worries over He Ling. Do I really have to stay here for the next fifty years? Are Jasmine and Master still worrying over my well-being? Can I use sudden departure and Shinzai's words to her? What do they all mean? Also, Father, Mother, Yuea, Chai Yi, Linksai, Xuea, Linga, I can't go back until the fifty years are up, I still can't go back even after the fifty years have passed, am I never going to see you all ever again? If he went back without regard for the consequences, he would only bring annihilation upon them all. What in the world should I do? It was early morning, a whole month had finally passed, and Yan Che had just gotten up from his bed with a stretch when he saw He Ling standing quietly in front of the jade green bamboo house, countless drops of morning dew were clinging to her verdant colored hair. I knew it. Yan Che shook his head and walked next to He Ling, at the same time, the front door opened to reveal Shenzai's transient figure. He Ling immediately collapsed to her knees and kowtowed, begging, Master, 
Healing has thought through everything for the past month, my mind is set, please help me, master. Yan Che stood beside Healing with a very complicated look on his face. Shenzai didn't lift Healing to her feet, she said gently, you should know that you will pay a terrible price for this, the price may very well be your life and soul. Healing didn't hesitate in the slightest, her voice was so calm that not a trace of sadness could be found anywhere. I'm willing to give up anything as long as I can take revenge, I will never regret my decision. Shinzai nodded slightly, in that case, I will not dissuade you further. I grant you permission to leave any time you wish, now, about the person who can take revenge for you, he is none other than the man standing right next to you, Yan Che. Yan Che might not have uttered a word throughout the conversation, but that didn't mean that he wasn't listening closely, he was. After all, very curious to know who the man was that could unsettle the Brahma monarch god realm. That was why his knees had given out when he heard Shinzai's declaration, he had almost collapsed right on top of healing. Please subscribe to my channel, audio novels, see playlist for other chapters and novels, thank you.